Insert joke about Michigan. Joke about Michigan. Missed. <laughs> also, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm a little bit on the ugh side. I'm, I'm a little bit sick, but we'll be okay. Do you burn the roof of your mouth on pizza? Okay, okay, okay. But seriously, Darian, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. What is it about people like us that really are just like flawed in that sense? Because why the hell did I manage to cut and burn the roof of my mouth yesterday? The food wasn't even that hot. Was I just eager? Like, wh why did that happen? Detroit pizza becomes soup, finally. It's not a flaw, it's the fact that we're hungry and eager. I mean, it's a flaw to a degree, because we are hurting ourselves doing the thing we need to survive. No way, you do it too, Riggy? Also, thank you for the biddies. I do that a lot too. We adhere to what we call the seafood diet. We seafood, we eat it, that's fair. Oh, what's the the thing I did? Oh, um So about about Connor. He might he might he might be just Connor again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. What the hell? Wasn't a what the fuck is is the does the audio sound fucked up for you guys? Oh my god, no way. Hold on. I think the audio is messed up on my TV. You should try to get some more sleep. I'm not tired anymore. Shit, uh. You must be starving. You she sounds like she's from the Nintendo 64. I don't know why she sounds this way. Okay. I'll run you a bath. It's a little quiet, but it sounds fine. Yeah, I'll turn up the audio for you guys, but I know it sounds fine for y'all, but for me, it sounds like she's got an N64 sound chip on right now. Okay. Let me fix the audio for you guys. Okay, that that should be good right about there. And then let me see if I can fix this for me. Just turn the TV off and back on and see, and see what happens, hey? It... I don't even know how else to describe it. On my end, it just sounds like, um, like really old voice acting from a shitty microphone almost like if her voice box was broken good news though is that if the audio on this tv is going out i have another tv so it'll be chill okay let's See if we can do anything with her real quick. Please let me watch TV so I can hear something. Okay, I think it might be fixed on my end.
Okay, I'm gonna go through a piece of dialogue just to make sure that the sound is good. I don't know what it's gonna be though. Maybe we could talk to her again. Alice. You're pretty like that. Yay! You really look it's all like normal. It was so weird. You bastard. ready. Um, do we have to do something else? Make sure you check if your social was breached. Yeah, I did. I Mine wasn't. Mine wasn't and Milo's wasn't. Thankfully, my last name is so unique that uh, it didn't even show up people that shared names with me. You know what really sucks? I'm trying to see how I should frame this for, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm trying- I was trying to frame Detroit Become Human vertically, because I'm trying to test out a new extension I got. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's looking like I might have just found the sweet spot, though. Trying to keep Kara in frame is fucking stupid. Okay. Oh, I think it's working. Sweet! Alright, let me... Let me fix a few things and we'll dive into this until I get tired. Hopefully it'll just be chill, because Detroit is pretty chill. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, do my faces work? Yes, they do! All right, looks like we're all good to go. Okay, so we are waiting for her in the, I think she's just in the bedroom. Just take a look at a bunch of stuff. No running in the halls, no slamming doors, no loud noise, thank you. Yeah, just no, no fun whatsoever. Oh wow, that's a bunch of really fast humans. Look at them. You think any of those are androids? The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was Todd by his Williams, you said? No, I don't think I've ever heard of him actually. The android fled the scene and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Just Douglas. He says his name is Just Douglas. That's it. No last name. Had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. I mean, like, what are yeah. We do? We have nowhere to I go. agree with that. Especially knowing what I know place. now, but it's like, at first I was like, how do you have the fortitude to do that? I have no fucking clue. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. We 
can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. I know I'm just a machine, but I feel as if something ties us together. I want you to know, no matter what happens, nothing will ever separate us. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Get breakfast for Alice here? I hope you like vending machine hot dogs and shit like this. Oh no, it's the Kips! They must have known that we checked in. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Uh-oh, he's gonna snitch us. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. I can't Thank believe you. it. He sold us out. Send some uniforms and cordon off the area. I'm heading towards room now. All right. Well, we know where room 28 is, so we'll go see what's you up. In the car. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. Damn! I How could you say that to me, mission. Hank? I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Busting your balls is part of my programming. Wouldn't he still need the key card? It's gone. I mean, do the cops? I mean, they must know because they have our picture.
Oh, hey, is the stream lagging for anybody? Hang on. Let me let me look into this. Thought it was on your end? No, it's definitely on mine. Let me see if I can get this back to normal. Hang on. I think I know what I did wrong. Okay, this should help us out here. I didn't realize it was lagging that badly. And if it doesn't fix, I don't know what I'll have to do, because it should be completely fine now. Unless for some reason it keeps trying to render it into the second format. Oh, fuck me. Oh no! Damn it! Hey, stop! <laughs> Police! The lag led me to Which assault. Way that way. They're headed for the train station. Yeah, no, I noticed that uh, my encoding was at a hundred percent because I was trying to get it on a second. Uh, on a second platform, and that was the shittiest fucking idea. Don't shoot, we need it alive. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Got to do it for Daddy Hank. That that that's the second. We should have known that they were uh, that. We should have known what was up with Alice the second that that happened. Ain't no way that she just took a hit from a car. was just a tap and a scratch. I mean, okay, no, uh, sure, sure. You know what, fine. We'll sideswipe you with a car and see how you come out.
Only 29% of people went to the motel. Okay, it's not so bad. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype. Point, are you looking at my pizza, buddy? Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigation. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. We are now approaching Fernandez. Brain is on short circuit mode. You gotta, you gotta call somebody about that. Let me see if you can get a brain technician. Give it a tune-up, whack it with a wrench or something. I'm glad that I noticed that the stream was lagging. I was just gonna like let that go. Like not let it go, but I was just gonna like not look at it. You can tell I'm human because I'm using the escalator. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Is that? Nah. I thought that was like, it might have been actually, it might have been the guy at the Jericho. Oh, Jesus. A spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. That can't have been too good, huh? Like, was it a good show at least? Because Grey's Anatomy was an enigma of a show. I think it's back this... No, this is where we came from. Shit. It's one of these little... 
chain link fences. I think it's the next one around this corner. There we go. You thought it was the Chase Bank logo? I can see that. It's like, hey, Resistance member, are you banking with Chase? parkour pre-planned parkour so it's super boring because it was always <laughs> there's never a chance of it going wrong Okay. I had to send a text to my mom. I'm going to be uh, out of town next week and I have to be sure that I have a place to sleep.
What? I definitely didn't mess that up, but okay. Right. I definitely forgot that that happens. That's so stupid, Claw, but that got a chuckle out of me. But yeah, how's it going? Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, I I'm all right, but I'm definitely a little bit on the erky side. Apparently I have a fever that I only found out before I went like as, like right after I went live, I took my temperature. So I'm just kind of existing right now. going well just ate the dog and hopped on ate the dog i assume you mean hot dog please tell me you mean hot dog Wait, no, don't eat that dog. That dog's not on the menu. Don't eat... Don't eat that dog of indeterminate name. You had Sketty? Oh, God. I was never going to get that. The only thing on my mind is Detroit become human and feeling really dry and warm. That is about how it's going. You spent an hour trying to get that one mushroom to dance in your game. You're you still didn't get it. Like you're still working on it. Holy fuck. That's so stupid.
You know what? I was gonna not say it, but now I have the sudden urge to say it. I can't believe it, Glob. You've been slapping your mushroom, like, every single day. What do you mean it's not enough? I can't wait. I know I've said it like a bunch already, but I get to find out on Monday if my neurons are spicy or not. I mean, you're right. Your fingers have fingertips, but your toes don't have. Oh, that toes. hurt to think yeah, about. Like genuinely, that hurt to finger. think about. Also, for the record, uh, since I'm at the PlayStation, I don't know how my headphones on. The biggest thing is I can't, I mean, I could probably route the audio through the PC, but it's just easier to hear the TV. We done been exploring the boat. I honestly forgot which way I came from at this point. Explore harder. I'm looking. I'm exploring as hard as I can. Oh, I've been done this before. All the turning around is getting me to be slightly dizzy, so I might be taking it slower. It wouldn't let me go through that at first. It like blocked me. Marcus.
<laughs> the door was yellow and immediately you thought of Resident Evil and you're like, the fuck, go here. Yeah, see, the thing is, I thought it wasn't letting me in the hallway at first. That's why I didn't go through it. Certified dumb moment. Welcome to Jericho. I guess there's no percentages except for like the ladder in this one. Yeah, walking the bridge, that's it. Oh, it says chicken feed. I thought it said chicken food. And I'm like, why are we here for that? Come on, this is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Gary sounds like the man. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Yo, what's no. up, Alex? How you doing? Um... Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. 
Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software. Doing good, what about you? Well, I was doing great until I found out I apparently am running a fever, but other than that, I'm all right. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> we got the Riz! <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. He, he gave him it's the wink. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I think we just did the most positive outcome of that conversation that you could do. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? What was the I'm best sorry. game you live streamed? Well, uh, when it comes to quality of games, in the elevator? I would no? say my favorite game to randomly stream is Portal 2. Not great for watching an engagement though. Not a lot of people want to watch Portal 2. Hey, That's just like a personal favorite game of mine. But I would just say when it comes to numbers, Roblox, I was surprised about that. Nobody's that was pretty big. Here, and then the anything that's a got a, a, a multiplayer a fan base usually has like a pretty Correct. easy time. It's like time Jackbox, you can usually wrangle a few people together to time. play some games and stuff like that. Ups. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by Correct. closing your eyes? Correct. Speaking of Roblox, did I ever make a roll for it? No, I didn't. I gotta do that, actually. Let me... <clears throat> here, one second. I'll just make the roll right now.
Okay, there should be... The roll is up now. That way I don't forget again. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. So like many pigeons. Our man's gone. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does. That's something your mom does. Got him. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Oh, the glasses salute looks really good, actually. I don't think anyone's done that one yet. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pit. Let's see. Oh, yes, over here. There's got to be a lot more that we can look at. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing.
vengeance. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Okay, good, he didn't fall. I was like, I messed that up. No! Chance of survival 89%. Nope, we saving Hank. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's alright. We know what it looks like. We're friends now. We'll find it. The game says we're friends! Connor. Nothing. He was gonna say thank you. What a piece of shit. Can you imagine 11% of the people who <laughs> ignore him and actually have him die? I was going to say me, but he lived thankfully when I did it, so I'm happy about that. There was only two outcomes, and we've gotten both of them, unless this is its own outcome. Fugitives, just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. I cannot wait until we reupholster my old chair. This new one creaks so badly, I don't think there's any saving it. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. 
I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. I know we already did this one, but I swear to God, if I don't get to see the Jerry's again, I'll be genuinely mad. We lit all the trash cans last time. We will just leave those. Not in very good shape, am I? The diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Oh. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. I wanted to have some, but I'm afraid of picking up the food when I have a controller in my hands. I'll have to just like take a break and eat later or something. There was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? I want to get you sick. You say, ah, oh, well, but... No, I know. I, well, realistically, you are probably right about being the one that gave it to me because you're the only person I interact with, really. Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this bed. Yeah. Boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. What? You know that she's yelling at you because she's like, if you don't take care of this, he'll eat our food. Oh, 
Oh, honey. You just you just gave quite a little spanking with the door. He was like stretching and you just like hit him with the door. <laughs> I can't believe it. Abuser. I guess we have to light the fires, maybe? What's stopping them from making the fires? Don't they also have like the same situation that I have? Just a, a, oh wait, I actually have a lighter. It's not like my thumb. I thought it was my thumb. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Androids are moths. Okay. I would actually like Show a moth me. android though. All he wants is lamp and then you could program him to not eat your sweaters. I'll stop the bleeding. And then whenever he has his become human moment, he will eat your sweaters. Drink this. It'd be really funny if she jerked forward like no not all of it fucker just like a sip give me your hand You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon, I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in.
Okay. Let's see what the world totals are. We didn't talk to Josh. Well, whatever. Who fucking cares? Ah, uh, yes, Casa del Slatko. Let's see if we can, like, get through this without this. Wait, no, but we need to go through this to get Luther. Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Maybe you'll just be able to avoid being reset this time. I can only hope so. Because the chase was like how suck. Come in. I'm, I'm hoping when Alice gets nervous, we could just leave. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. I gotta say... He keeps me company in this. Luther's like six, like, like six, house. eight, seven feet tall. If I was nipple height with somebody, I think I'd be concerned too, because I'm like not short by any means. Please. Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And? You want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. <sighs> if we had a tracker, they uh, would have found us already. Wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. We have to be careful. 
That's it. We can't. We can't walk back. Oh my god. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. And that's good. That's not great. I don't want to reassure Alice because she's right. Ugh, they give me no choice. Come on, Alice. This way, please. I don't know how to get past this. I know there's stuff I can kick over, but that's all I know. If you could just stand over there. <sighs> I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusion. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <clears throat> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara, wake up, Kara! Meet me in the living room.
No! What the fuck? That's so stupid! I was trying to figure out how to get let go. I guess I needed to tug on the, uh, the green wire. Um, so not only did I kick the thing too early and it's the same mistake, but I didn't even know I could pull on the wires. yourselves at home. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther.
Just set it down on the table over there. Oh, this table. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's took off the word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanka. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with him. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Her name is Car. I forgot what room she was kept in. Oh, there we go. How could I forget you quite easily, it turns out? Just 
just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. Shit. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! Don't let Luther die. Luther survived this inner encounter last time. Nothing. He didn't survive the house like near Canada. That's where we got him. Last time I fucked up holding the breath though. your memory okay i regret that now and just come on out and everything will be all right i know where you're hiding this game is over and i'm gonna make you regret this little charade there we go oh my god no he shot the bear Why? That doesn't that doesn't do anything. Doing. W Luther. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you? How dare you? What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Oh, I forgot we let get them out. Hey, what's up, Sketchy? How you doing? You know what? Um, Milo said this the last time we played this. It reminds me a lot of Sid's toys from Toy Story. And I completely agree with what she says. It totally does. Hi, hi. Yeah, how you doing? By the way, I hadn't really said this, but I hope everybody's having a great day. I, uh, I think I was a little too caught up in suddenly being sick. When I saw the little one, risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. 
I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I'm glad that it got better, but yeah, I hate sleeping wrong, like, cricking your neck. That shit's the worst, because there's no getting rid of it until it just decides to go away. I wish you had a watch that could show your status conditions. Is that not what an Apple Watch essentially is? It's just a watch that shows your status conditions. Oh goodness, I might have to take a quick break before the next one. I'm baking in my own potato, so I think I need to like stand up and make sure I'm not gonna actually like need to take a break or like, you know, stop. So we'll, we'll see. Um, also, apparently there's a 3% chance that Luther doesn't join you. I wonder what happens in that case. If memory serves correctly, I don't remember exactly where we stopped, but I know that we had gotten Luther. So we're kind of in it, but I don't remember. I don't think we're like, maybe like halfway, maybe. Full like full length wise, I don't remember exactly how far we are between now and like the protests. Wait, hold on. What is going on here? Missing your S two hundred hostess Android? We have a. F one time offer a brand new Chloe for free. Are you interested? Wait, wait, hold on. You mean like the, is that the, the Android that's been interviewing us this entire time? Did they get her? Oh my God. I think our hostess like, person that's been like questioning us I think she's gone am I interested though like what if I say no you know a th um, what are these things like a couple thousand dollars them offering me a free one means they definitely did something unethical wait so do i just not get one now that's pretty fucked up also what's up scott how you doing Oh, I hope Glob pops in the chat soon. I got questions about tomorrow, because I think we're doing Roblox tomorrow. You're about to ping the Boo Crew and see who is down. Remember, you were streaming. Yes, my internet's back, and I'm not sick. Two things that happened in rapid succession, almost making me even forget that I was a Twitch streamer. Roblox yeah I don't know what though yet because it, it's Glob's choice so I have to figure out what games we're going to be playing but we should be I think at least for the next month we'll be doing Roblox on Fridays hello Amanda hi there I've been expecting you would you mind a little walk That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Um, explain. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? The 
walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing. Surprised he didn't use the term hoarding. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Amanda always came off a little creepy to me. I wonder if she's a Cyberlife android. Hank is our friend. Let's go. Oh my God. We can't mess this up. Okay. Okay. I can't mess this up. If you remember, we have to make sure we pet the dog. We didn't pet the dog last time. Lieutenant Anderson. Grandy won the previous month's leaderboard. Uh, no, it was a uh, glob. You home? better pet that dog. Right? Easy. Right? I'm not going to let myself get away with this. Like, I better be petting the dog. <laughs> glob, who's that again? Dang. Uh, the Glob father in chat. That is who that is. I'm surprised he's here every Monday. Lieutenant! Lieutenant Anderson! Please! Get the fuck up off the floor! It appears that you are overdosing! Easy... Sumo! I'm your friend! <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Sumo does not comprehend because he's dog. Wait, hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on. I know we need to check on Hank. But is this where we pet Sumo? Okay, we definitely can't pet Sumo yet. All right, let's let's examine Hank. Are they Glob in the Discord? Yeah. I believe that is what Glob's name is in the Discord. Oh, what's this? There's piss stains in his mustache. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <clears throat> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Actually, we're friends now. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! 
Are you familiar with vomiting? Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Please, lean against this wall while I open your shitter. Honestly, leaning him face first against the wall was quite a move. I'm not going anywhere. You, you can pet doing? Sumo after Tank tell, uh, tells you to leave it and lets you explore looking for clues. That's what I thought. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Are you sober now, Detective? Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. All right, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Can't you just I'm prepared, all right? I'm completely disregarding my friend Hank. Hang on, wait. Pragmatic. Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else. And I need to pet that dog, mission. though. You goddamn mission. That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. I, I like how you have the option to make fun of him. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Now, can I pet the dog right now? Where is the good boy? He's not here, so I guess we have to wait. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Mm. God, all of these outfits are just fucking terrible. We'll go with streaky, I guess. Oh, I gotta remember when I go on break or something, but I'm planning on discounting some of the channel point stuff soon. I can't say what, but some of it. <coughs> also, by the way, what's up, Nova? Are you alright, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Oh, there we go. Sure. Oh, brother. You're free. That's nice. Definitely, if you're free, get into the relaxing nature of things and vibing. Wait, where's Sumo? But where's that dog, though? The living room? Okay, hang on. Let's go find Sumo, then. Wait, what is this? Oh. Sorry I mean, about the window, yeah. Lieutenant. I really thought you'd been attacked. Of course, Cyberlife will pay for the damage. Yeah, trust me, I'll send him a bill. 
oh, 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 there he is. Oh, we did it. We did it. We pet that dog, though. Who's your good boy, Sumo? Dog pet percent complete. <laughs> Alright, Lieutenant, I'll be leaving. This was all a ruse to pet your dog. Have a good day. Good luck with the vomit. <laughs> what do you mean we're not going to look at his probably disgusting search history? All right, well, out of all the mistakes we have made in our previous runs and things that we needed to rectify, we have done everything the way we intended except for one incident with Connor, and then we have now remedied the dog. So that honestly, just that one incident with Connor, I think is the only thing we've really messed up this run in terms of how we wanted to play it. So far, I should say, definitely so far. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Outside. So Hank is depressed. I mean, yeah, usually if you're caught in the same room with a... Uh, uh, a, you know, empty bottle of Jack Daniels and a pistol, usually something's pretty wrong. A couple empty bottles and burger that's actually what we're having for dinner in probably like an hour or something which I guess I'll try during that time to adjust the prices of the uh, channel point stuff I like that smile he gets. Like, that's my friend Hank. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but Milo's playing fetch with the dog, and you can just hear him just bounding down the hallway. Check the car. I didn't realize we could, honestly. We should have done that. Wait. Calm Hank's dog. Okay, hang on. There was a chance that we didn't calm the dog. There's a chance that Connor gets, like, bit, I guess, by Sumo? Oh, pet Hank's dog. 52%. Well, I can't believe only 52. It's because they put him in the living room. They should have kept him in the kitchen. That percentage would have at least been 80% or higher. If they catch us. Oh, I gotta remember to not say no to that janitor. Follow me. And then whatever her name is. Uh North wants me to follow her. She gets like actually pissed off. My controller beeped at me. I always forget that this thing does that. Oh, 
Wait. This is the mistake I made last time. I followed them instead of her, and she got just stupid mad at me. Like, I lost a bunch of reputation, because she's like, Oh! Marcus! What are you doing, Marcus? That is not where I was hanging off of it, but I will take it. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. And coin, it's okay, buddy. Oh. I guess something about the process of dinner is scaring the boy. You know, for being so mean, he's scared of everything. It's just quite a dichotomy in, in his existence. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Okay, so I can't just... I can't just, like, get on top of the crates? Is there another way? Because I remember I messed this up as well. Or, oh wait, there it is, there it is, there's the third option. Would be too high. So can we go to like... Here... And then... Is there another way to get onto this? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, they didn't give me the execute button. What's up, gang? Nothing much, Bob. How are you? Oh my gosh, it's it's Mod Bob. Wait, did I fuck that? I think I fucked that up. I think they wanted me to keep hitting triangle. You all right? Nothing I can't handle. Nice work. What the fuck? God damn it! There's no way to please her. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Man, Josh fucking hates me for what I did. I did pet sumo this time. This is true. These are facts. And I'm happy to report, as of right now at least, we're still on Connor Mark II. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. That's not a felony though, right? God damn machine. Where is it this time? J 
John! I need your help. John! What the hell? What are those? You, you find those outside? What? In the trash? Who's a skater in this neighborhood that keeps throwing away perfectly good skateboards? Just my luck. Well, fuck, I guess if they're throwing it out. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Weird seeing Bob be a mod. It was honestly kind of overdue because we don't really have an. It's weird because we don't have any active mods really. That's probably why it's weird. It's, a, it's an icon you're not used to seeing in this place. All right, let's go free the triplets here. It's all the Dylans. All spelled differently, of course. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. Oh, oh, oh shit. Will I get the supplies? Okay, all right, bet. Hurry up, Dylan, Dylan, and Dylan. I need you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're going to get caught, and it's all going to be Dylan's fault. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Okay, I got to make sure I don't say no on accident this time. They come with us. I don't care if it makes North mad. You can find more spare parts. What do you mean? See, that's what I'm talking about. They're full of bio he has insider info. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there. I don't know if we gave him our inspirational touch or not, though. So he could be sh like he could be bullshitting us. Suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. I'm sorry, North, but I genuinely don't like you. So let's go. It's not worth the risk. We have what we need. We can go over the fence. It's the quickest way out. Okay, then. Let's go. I'd rather get all the Jericho people on my side than North. North is kind of reckless. Yeah, buddy? You happy to be rolling around all over my carpet? <laughs> Fuck, North. Yeah, definitely gotta be one of my least favorite directions. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Didn't want the big loot? No, because we our bags were full. Like, I don't know where we would have carried it, even. I came to Jericho. Here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a truck. You would have taken the truck? Damn it, I didn't think about stealing the truck! But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. 
I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Top 10 inspirational speeches. Our days of slavery are over. Oh yeah, congrats to, to, to the people that won. Also, hooray believers. Wait, give, so I did it? I, I did the thing? We I guess it just like without getting caught. We are also, alive. if we don't take that guy, we didn't we have a whole quick action or a, a quick time event sequence to go through if we didn't have that guy? Oh, okay. You know, I'm glad that we got the full bag situation, but we really could have diversified our endings. But but again, we're trying to this is supposed to be like our redemption run at this game. So it kind of makes sense. Oh my gosh, no. Duolingo's gaslighting me into doing a lesson. Oh, I'll do it when dinner's oh, ready, Duolingo. Feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. kill the bird no i he's he's nice and kind of quirky but like definitely kind of a little passive aggressive when it gets to be late sexiest androids in town now i know why you insisted on coming here oh boy have you ever had android strange detective i think it could fix some of your problems you have Hank's your friend? Yes, I'm doing so good with Hank right now. I'm personally proud. We are friends. Best friends. Well, friends at least. I'm not sure how he feels. I'm just afraid to pop the question. It's too soon. I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? That room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. Very happy, especially with how <laughs> that run and did. Yes, yes. Everything is everything is as of right now, except for one hiccup with Connor going according to plan. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh yeah. Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> That fucking wow. shit-eating grin. I hate that. <laughs> he got no action that he can handle. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. so disgusting <laughs> I think I'm, gonna puke again. I'm just surprised that doesn't ruin a relationship with Hank it tastes delicious detective blue raspberry Hey, buddy, get a little stabbed or something. Oh, wait, I got to reconstruct it. Four 
play gone too far, detective, it seems. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the brute. Bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. Driver's license says Michael Graham. What did I do in this level the last time? I was successful in hunting down uh, the right killer, and then the uh, we let the les bots go, but uh, it was a very close, possibly not letting them go. Like it was, it was really down to the wire. God, imagine if you're dead and they're just plugging your fucking body back in and you just immediately revive feeling the exact pain that you were feeling before you died. <laughs> that would be ass. You were damaged and I reacted to you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Kill him. No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That was the long, uh, the quickest minute of my fucking life. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. Man. So I said we're having burgers. Mine's a breakfast burger. And, Maybe like, I, I can smell it. And, and like, damn, I just, I can't wait, but also like, fuck, I, there's some breakfast foods that I really want to get when I go to the store next, like cinnamon rolls. I'm a fiend for cinnamon rolls. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Please try again. Same model. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> yo, my phone needs to sh uh, stop showing me the, uh, the, the wrong things because for me, it shows a shrug. And so I'm like, wait, are you indifferent to cinnamon rolls? I look back at my computer and I see the moan and I'm like, these are two very different emotions. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <sighs> Alright, now I know when I see emotes, I'm gonna have to make sure I'm seeing the right ones. That was crazy. Hello. A 30 minute session costs twenty nine ninety nine. Please confirm your purchase. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Do you think he buys regular prostitutes on his expense account? He seems like the kind of guy that might. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? You really think we could get the owner of this place to, like, not make us spend so much money for our investigation? is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness.
Let's try this one. This better be. Back into the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? Yeah, that one didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Why did it turn around to face the back of its enclo- Oh, never mind. I know why. I don't know why I even bothered asking. <laughs> I wonder if you can just go here without, like, finding any of the information. Wait. I'll take it from here. if I have a sprint button. I don't remember. and then they get tossed out. Ugh! 
Oh, come on, I totally hit that. Oh shit, didn't hit that one though. I like just the establishing shot with them holding hands and it's just like at that point you're like oh oh messed that one up Normally I was going to be like, I lowered my gun, did she still have to kick me? But I guess I didn't really lower it, necessarily. Broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed. Until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. All right, I wonder who's up next. I think it's probably Kara. At some point, I'm going to have to like botch this really heavily to get the other endings, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Forty two percent. Not terrible. I do wonder what the because uh, one of them is obviously shooting the deviants and then I guess the third one might be something happens to you. I'm not sure. seen snow before it's pretty it's slow in the style but at least we won't eat any humans along the way it's a good thing Slotko had a car I wouldn't want to 
was out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. Wait. How do I get her out again? All right, that's it. We're leaving her. Now? Can I not? Where's Alice? Oh, she, yeah, she's on that side. Okay. Can I not get her out? Find shelter. Oh, we have to find the shelter first. Okay, so I do need to walk away. Well, thank goodness Alice can teleport, because she definitely wasn't there before. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned. Hey, Meg. Thank you for uh, lurking. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Okay, so I gotta check these stalls over here. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. You'll be back later. You're just prepping dinner. Ooh, alright. Hope it's good dinner. And we'll see you whenever you get back. This one back here. Be easy to find shelter. I can't wait. We're going to get to see the Jerry's again.
I'll handle this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute up real quick while I eat. There we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight 
him. No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. Alright, I'm back. So they decided to run away together. Burger was delicious. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but They were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of, and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. All I'm saying is if Alice is supposed to be like realistic at all, do you think she'd be saying shit like that? <laughs> but real life isn't like that. You're supposed to be like eight, right? Have a little more optimism. Yes, of course. The one thing I have to remember whenever we go to the next place with Luther and Kara, I cannot look at the newspaper because that is actually what tipped them off over the point to where, like, they started looking for people. Yeah, if you don't, if you weren't there for that, Bob. So there's two pages on the fucking paper. One of them's like the front page is kind of normal, but the next one's about androids. And if you have it on the second page, he like picks it up and then can just kind of like tell that like, ah, androids had to be reading the android news. And so then he just like, that's what got him to like to be suspicious enough to start looking for people. And set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. Ah, uh, yes, thinly veiled conversation about theology. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. Well, I said what, not no. Oh well, at least at least Luther liked that. Kara really said some so religion. I yeah, honestly, it's the Jerry's. Jerry's, we love you. True. Our name is Jerry. Whether it's a singular or a plural, a plural, a fucking, fucking plurality of Jerry's, we love Jerry. Come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. 
Detroit become Jerry. If that is what being a deviant is, sign me up. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. All right. Incoming best scene in the entire game. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Imagine every time the carousel starts up, one of the Jerry's just like yells that, right? Like the carousel is about to begin. Like the amount of effort. That'd be like Disney levels of whimsy in this amusement park. Yeah, I think he's asking for a TLDR. Jerry would give Disney level whimsy 24-7. See, that's the one thing you can say. That's a really good use of androids, though. You would never get tired of, uh, especially if, like, they're hard-coded to, like, really enjoy, like, seeing people having fun. Because then they're motivated to do it, you know? It is kind of weird that none of us are on with her, though. Wait a minute. Is this the only possible ending? There might be a branch that way, but I think that's the only possible ending. Software instability is Connor becoming a human too or a deviant. Yeah, you could link software instability with deviancy, yeah. Um I like I guess without stepping on Bob's toes, the TLDR of this game is it's a bunch of different uh personal stories revolving around the same uh main story of like androids gaining sentience and like the rights and issues surrounding that. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, shit. Son, right? Shit. Yeah. He's we just lost friendship with Hank. We gotta fix this. Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... I probably shouldn't ask that. Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link.
What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel any- That's not the response I wanted to give, but okay. Also, I gave kind of a TLDR, Bob. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. There we go. Okay, we got a relationship negative dip back. Or just a machine. Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Hell yeah, yeah, path unlocked. I need to think. We got that ending both times. 82% of people did. I wonder what the alternative is. Maybe Hank shooting Connor? Also, I feel bad. So, Bob, I don't know if you know anything about this, but the lady that normally, like, talks to us at the beginning and asks us questions, they asked us if we wanted a free, uh, replacement because she was missing, and I said no because I didn't want to, like, it seems suspicious. Do we ever get a chance to get her back, or is that, like, a forever thing now? stay silent anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us and revealing ourselves will put us in danger if we want freedom we need to have the courage to ask if you want actual clarification let me know well i would like clarification over over that whole them asking me outside of the game if i needed a new hostess i just kind of thought if i said no they'd let me keep the one that i had the control room is on the top floor that's where we need to go Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. You don't get another Chloe if you say no. God damn it. I thought I could keep the one that I had already had. I didn't think it was like a you need to do this thing. Damn it. 
There should really be a way to request a new one. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Where's the... I wonder where the other thing is. Uh, hello, Miss Elizabeth Wilson. Is that a Herman Miller chair? Wait, I didn't get the... No, I need to investigate again. It's not letting me. Oh yeah, that's right. I just gotta go back over here now. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Oh, wait, what am I doing here? Find package in men's bathroom. It's weird that we don't have like a map to show where it is. I think there is. I just don't know where it is. I think it's like a physical map somewhere. That guy might be onto me. He just watched me leave the bathroom without washing my hands. Uh, 
Um. Oh, that utility android. Oh, there he is. No, let me... I can't walk through that. That's so stupid. <laughs> Poop hands. No, that's a lie. I like how he doesn't even have to ask. He's just like, I need your help. And everyone's like, oh, with the thing? Yeah, I got you. Oh no, I played through the game already, Scott. This is my second time through. I was following you, but that was weird. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey. You still need work. No, oh, that's right, the cleaning bot. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Oh, right. Actually, to make sure I lock this shit. You will never catch me dead or alive on one of these things. Ladies first. Hey, 
<laughs> Scott, that's not spoilers. I said I played through the game already. And also, a lot of it is choice-based, so, like, it's... It's kind of like whether you think that kind of thing should happen in your typical playthrough. Let's do this. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to fix that later. The message height goes across. I didn't realize it went across the entire screen. That's a big message. <laughs> Yeah, long boy message for sure. No killing. We can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No one. Ah, uh, yes, the classic ruse. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the classic ruse was drawing your gun. <laughs> Time for the classic ruse. I was going to say the the classic ruse. Everyone knows it. Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't sh- I hope you didn't just get us all killed. 
I'm gonna have to let him go this time. Me and Josh are friends now. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Oh wait, you know what? I want to test something. All right, let's see. Hope things are going well here. Yeah, yeah, it's going pretty well. Thank you for asking, Shoji. Have a good lurking pizza. All right, let me... I wanted to test something with my chat. All right. Let's see. Okay, somebody type something really quick. I need to see if it squished the text box or not. <laughs> it did. It squished it. Let's see. Okay, so what would be the best way to do this then? I hear Milo listening to something out in the living room, and I just hear Andrew Ryan from Bioshock. Are your messages not sending? They are. I'm just testing something. What about the last two? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, I'll see what happens the next time a long message is typed, but now it should only take up... It should only take up a little box as opposed to the whole screen. All right, I gotta remember the speech that I made the first time because the speech that I made the first time was apparently really good. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. You know what? I'm going to do a different speech this time. Because my my moral opinion or public opinion is still trash. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. 
We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. All of these are valid ass. Oh shit, did I fuck, did I fuck it up? Oh shit. I was, I, I forgot to uh, open up the chat back on my phone, so I was like, oh shit, I can't read anything. Also, when you did all those word, 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 yes, yes, yeses, did was that okay? Did that come, did that come out all right? I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! It did come out good. Okay, good. I can't move my legs. Cuts off a little over half the bottom of screen, but still. <laughs> okay, well. We'll have to figure it out. I don't. I might be able to go into the settings and like set a line length, but I'll have to check. I know I can set character length on the bot, but right now it's limited to like tweet length. Oh, fuck it. Let's kill him. We didn't kill him last time. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. All right, I won't shoot him. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious... Oh yeah, because... Oh, that's right. The guards didn't come. Yeah, but I didn't want to kill him that time. I don't know. Like, it just... I felt bad. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially striking. Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? No casualties is good for public opinion. Yeah, it's okay. They still kind of hate me, though. Oh, what the hell? I was trying to do the, uh, I was trying to do the stats. You want a little tippy tip, buddy? What? I mean, sure. What what kind of tippy tip? It doesn't. It's not very reassuring that you're using the Karo's might emote for that. For Simon, your roof guy. Yeah, sure. Demanding Android facilities was the wrong move. Yeah, I guess so, sadly. I guess they think that it's uh, too much of us to ask about control seizing the rights of reproduction. Or seizing the means of reproduction, not the rights. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise.
love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. <laughs> Hi, Mama. What's up, baby? Tell me. What have <laughs> you discovered? Yeah. My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and don't go on the roof as Connor when you inevitably go investigate there's another route ow I thought I knew what I had to do but now I realize it's not that simple eat a dick Amanda you suck true she does on those deviants at the Eden Club you're watching on two devices ooh twice the viewing pleasure <laughs> You can get Carol from two of the same angle. That's Pog. I don't know. I don't know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Wish I could throw hands with Amanda and leave, uh, leave, yeah, leave Connor alone for real. My man did nothing to warrant this level of behavior. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? Well, they came in, and then two of them fell for the classic ruse. Very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. 
What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. He says, Erm, um, don't fuck up my crime scene. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe... I hate to say it, but as much as they hated my speech, it came out about the same opinion-wise. Until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA9? Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, hey, Glob, what's up? How you doing? You see something? I identified it doing well. Fuck yeah. Um, what was it? We're doing Roblox tomorrow, right? No. Being lazy, hopped in to say hi. Nothing better than a lazy day, though. Yeah, there's still a few games I was wanting to show off in it. Um, do you know which games you want to do? Because I'm kind of curious. collect everything it's a sort of a collector so like a uh, banjo kazooie kind of collector okay where else can i there's a little bit of so we'll just make our way over to the right, because I know Bob doesn't want us to go to the roof, so we'll just sweep this wall here. Don't go on the roof. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Normally, I don't really care. I wouldn't care what happens to Simon, but uh, I am curious just to see what happens if I don't go to the roof. signs of forced entry there are cameras in the hallway the staff would have seen what was happening why did they let him in maybe they didn't check the cameras we stored the station androids in the kitchen there's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. <laughs> mama. What is it, Mama? What? You have food and water. You have been recently fed. What is the problem? Mm. 
You heard her meow? Oh, that's good. Yes, hi, mama. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. I don't think it matters which one we question. Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Oh, by the way, uh, if anyone's it's curious, destroyed. you can type exclamation mark tokens. Uh, those are back working, and you can use those to duel each other and gamble. If you do exclamation mark commands, you'll see everything you can do. If you give yourself up, Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Can we use them to kill banish one another? I'm unsure you would have to check the commands. I don't think so, though. I don't think I gave you guys the ability to time each other out. <laughs> I was worried about abuse of such power. I know it's you. You scumbag! Deviant. Go on, admit it! Bio component eight. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. But you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? I don't remember having to rip a guy's heart out before. I knew it! I didn't- I mean, I didn't really know it, but I want to pretend that I knew it. No! He ripped out my bio component! Oh! Connor's fucking hand! You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do this. There we go. <laughs> Not his fucking hand. Now how's he supposed to fuck? I don't know. He'll just have to like find another person to do it with him. I'm not sure. It's a TV.
I'm sorry, Connor. I had to save Hank. He's my boy. Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd... Connor. We are now up to two workplace accidents with Connor. All right, so let's see where we ended this time. Oh, it's the same ending, technically, because Connor's still... Oh, damn it. Poor Hank. Poor Connor. Are you kidding me? Hank's fine, but, like, you know... Can't let him down. He's Mr. Krabs. I gotta remember a better hiding space. I don't know what the right hiding space is, but I remember that where I chose was poor and I left the fucking magazine out. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. You got so little. Please, well, so I don't really think about it her. as so little because we stopped accepting tokens like years ago. So like all this time you haven't been generating more. I was told you could help us. Help you? I think I might be able to actually give tokens to people, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look into the commands. I just turned it back on on a whimsy because I was like, ah, oh, you know, why not? I, I remember people like doing duels in Gamba, and I, I think raiding was a Streamlabs exclusive, so I don't think you can raid. I'm not sure about that. Do you think we can trust them? You don't have a choice. Come in. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's been so long, it doesn't surprise me you forgot. Because remember, Glob, if you remember, they are originally called Pokeballs. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. Even when they were a thing, you forgot they were a thing. Fair. I think the only way to really remember it would be if you were big into raiding. A couple people were. Is that the magazine you need to hide on the counter? Uh, if it's downstairs, then yes. And it's not that I need to hide it, I just need to not touch it. Because essentially, they have it set to where if you look at it and swipe over to the next article and then leave it there, then someone look- then the cop gets suspicious because of the article that's open. Sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? 
We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day you will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose. Is Alice an android? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, for the for our first playthrough, we weren't sure. But uh, after a certain point, I severely fucked up the game and we found out. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow. I'll stay with her a while. Why the hell are they making child androids? Well, uh, if I had to guess, it is for the folks that probably can't have kids, or maybe like people that want to be single parents. Maybe people that can't adopt. Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. 
I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. I don't know, maybe I should have left him in here. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. Damn it, we can't close this door. That sucks, okay. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're going to ruin our lives, and for what? His shirt says average casual guy, I'm pretty sure. And he is like the opposite of casual. You're alive. They, they're nothing. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. So let's see. So yeah, it's like talking about World War Three, and the next article is about, oh, it's a, yeah, okay, that's why. It's literally an ad for our exact model of Android. <laughs> no, no wonder he was suspicious. I wish there was a way for us to put away some of this shit. All this incriminating stuff. Okay, so it's like slightly, like slightly more closed, but not really. Uh-oh, it's the police. The police. It's the police. I should have talked to Adam. What are we going to do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it.
Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide... Upstairs. Oh, no, I know upstairs is the wrong fucking... Oh, no, 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 that's right. Upstairs is a bad idea because he hears them. Oh, hello, Mr. Hey, Officer. Man. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant Can you rewind? No. Not without, like, resetting this area. May I come in? Of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. <clears throat> Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Shit, I should have said Alice. We used to for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. Please, a sit down and coffee. Thanks. Zero percent suspicious. <laughs> Am I just just awkwardly standing still in the background? I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. He's only 10% sus. I'm off to pass out. Have a good evening, everyone. Yeah, have a good night, Shoji. Thank you for coming by and saying hi. Name, Hope you have a good night. My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Old, uh, old washing machine trick works every time. Thank goodness. I'm thrilled. Last time that didn't work out, we got caught as hell. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose.
Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. What? Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Carol, help. We've had four nat ones in the past five minutes. We need your luck blessing. Didn't you get Luther killed? Yeah, I didn't get Luther killed this time. We get to celebrate. I'm excited. But also, okay, Shadow. First of all, hope you're doing great. Second of all, ooh, ooh, your dice have been blessed by the unholy. Go forth and roll the 20s. But yeah, I hope you're having fun with D&D. Is it like a, like a, you know, homebrew or is it, you know, like, give me the deets. Oh my God, look at that. Our first ending, 2% of people got Luther killed. I am in the minority with people that are this fucking, like, I'm so stupid sometimes. is all over the news now humans know they took marcus's message as a threat he did the right thing this is the only language humans understand it's 5e but with homebrew oh that's gonna be fun then confrontation will get but yeah of course i hope uh i hope you get lucky and end up with some powerful attacks that's I, i'm just glad you're having fun with it i you know it's i've been doing some homebrew dnd where i think we're continuing it on saturday not sure yet don't quote me on that but i think we should be continuing it saturday it's been a bunch of fun because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom maybe you don't deserve it north don't you that's enough and now what are we gonna do you were so bad, only two p Yeah, well, exactly. I was- not even 2% of people were as bad as me. I was within the 2% of terrible people. So less than 2% of people were worse than me, technically. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. You're gonna return to the session now. Thank you for your help. Of course, of course. Have fun. One for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Oh, I, okay. I hope you're still lurking around, but if you're not, uh, what was it? I looked at it. Pico Pico Park 2 is coming out soon. We gotta get the band back together. This is a night our people will remember. Could I join in on Pico? I don't know. It just depends on if, because we'd have to get the game for everybody and then we would have to like get a full group of, I assume it's still, I think it was six. It was six or eight. I don't remember what the player count was, but you know, maybe we'll have to like iron out the logistics later. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. You know, it's funny, I found myself realizing this. If we're gonna play more Roblox in the future, I'm gonna have to get, like, better clothes. That's just how I am. If if I if I don't have cosmetics in the game I play frequently, I just, I don't know, I don't have as much fun in the game. I just noticed that. I am the, the uh, optimal gacha game player, <laughs> except I hate gacha games. system
I know they're looking for the... Oh, it's up here. Okay. Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out. Surprised that thing didn't see me. drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. The light was on you and everything. Yeah, you really think I would have been caught by that, right?
I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. All right. Well, first things first. We got to go start securing all these androids. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Okay, so I guess we can't do anything about these ones. I feel like a complete goofus, but what's Monday's game again? Uh, Gunfire Reborn, and then okay, Core yeah, Keeper once we're done with that. that unless, uh, unless you think we should just do Core Keeper. I kind of suggested I think it'd be a faster playthrough than doing Gunfire, but I know we didn't want to flounder back and forth. So I'm open to suggestions about that. No, I know we didn't. Uh, I'd say we at least get some progress in gunfire. I feel the same way. I would like to ideally at least get all the multiplayer achievements. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. I didn't block the road. Fuck. Well, broom broom, car time. I can't believe I forgot to block off the fucking road. Can I- can I get out and still secure the plaza? Please? Fuck. The cops gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus, we can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. Marcus, we did it. 
All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I messed this up. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? I thought you knew what you were doing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. You have no choice. Yeah, well, fuck you too, North. I hate you. You're not even like my real... What are we? Like, friends? We're definitely not dating. She's mad. I, I don't think she's mad. No, I disappointed, maybe. Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one. I hate this. I, to this day, I do not know what the correct answer for this outcome is. That's a lot of stuff you missed. Um, so that big grid of stuff that I missed, we didn't even get to that because we fled. That was, that was like tagging and vandalizing. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. That's a lie, we're friends. A replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. I hate that- I hate that I hate that saving his life still gets him to hate us. Why did you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I should shoot them or not, because I think, I think Hank gets mad if I don't shoot them. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see you. <laughs> sure, uh, rubbing it in his life. face, but like not on purpose. I'm just doing my job. And then I and I would died protecting him. He should have a little more gratefulness. This is maybe a thank you. Oh hey, thanks, Connor. You really saved my bacon. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. Amanda. Oh, yeah. It even says there, Amanda, dead as hell. doesn't raise any existential questions if that's what you mean Sometimes. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him Oh, it doesn't let me pick it up anymore.
Hank is fine with you not shooting them. Connor is mad that he did something that messed with his mission. Hmm. Glad you will see you now. Blood pool. Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. This fucking prick. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. I hate that I'm making the same choices on accident. I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? God damn it. Here we go again. You're familiar with the Turing test. Here from Malady. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? Piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. 
an obedient machine. Our living being endowed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. At the end of this one, I'm going to have to take a quick, quick break because I forgot. I still got to do Duolingo. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? And Hank prefers that you don't shoot. See, that's what matters. I do it for him. Everything I do, I do it for him. Okay? You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Really quickly, I'm gonna go do my Duolingo and do a stretch break. Alright. Back to the game. Oh, come on, let me keep playing. I was great. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I panicked last night. Ooh, new dialogue so option. Succeeded. Afford to make mistakes like that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. 
They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. <laughs> Not gonna ask about her past. I think she genuinely doesn't like it if you ask. Oh, no, wait, she wanted me to ask? Oh, whatever, fuck her. I'm sorry I pointed a gun at you. Can we still be friends? Oh, we're still friends. Let's go. Oh, geez. That's entirely just on the PlayStation. That wasn't the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that loading in needed some help. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Ah, it's the protest. We're getting really close to the end of the game. I imagine we'll probably finish this run tonight because I was supposed to play this the week I was sick and last week, so I figure finishing it out would be the least we could do. And then Dead Space will continue next week. I think I'm going to be doing Dead Space in two hour blocks. It's just hard for me to play horror games for four hours at a time. I don't like it. <laughs> But then the schedule should be normal for the rest of the week. And then tomorrow we're doing Roblox. I don't think the schedule reflects that yet. I think it still says... Whatever we were doing last month. Oh, this. This is what we were doing last month. She tells you only if you have high enough stats with her. Oh, okay. So basically she's mad if you don't ask her and then she's like either mad or just doesn't straight up tell you if you ask her and you don't have a high enough friendship then. You're awake now. You know, if somebody came up to you and touched you on the shoulder and said you're awake now, would you freak out or would you just use this as an excuse to go absolutely mask off for like five seconds? You're free. Okay, I know we need to protect this guy, but they don't want us to use force. I need to block the street. Oh, okay, I got you. That makes sense. Oh, they really fucking Austin Powers did, hey? You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. <laughs> Your iPad has decided to walk away. Let it happen. You 
are free. All right, are there any other androids? I think that's it. I think it's time we open up this manhole. Oh, Jesus. FPS did not like that. Alright, let's see. I know it says convert more androids. Uh, oh. There we go. You're free now. Have you heard of the coma prank? No? That doesn't- it sounds more like a public scare than a prank. <clears throat> also, I don't know if you were there for whenever I was listening to the Linkin Park song, Darian, but, uh, it was pretty good. Oh, dear God, no. You can't be saying that. You know, it's all fun and games, Darian, until you accidentally pick someone that's, like, paranoid, schizophrenic, and then they stab you just because they think you're a time wizard or something. I like how it changes my camera perspective and flips the controls and so it just looks like I decided you know what let's go home actually the thing you did just reminded me of a stupid video you saw a while ago okay you're gonna have to explain it to me uh I loved it I think Emily Armstrong is gonna do great with Linkin Park I think so too one of the things I think uh I am the most excited for is she sounds a lot like the vocalist of a band I used to really like called Crazy 88. I still like them a lot, but they're not. They were like a fake band that Jared Alange made. And so, you know, they just haven't done shit in forever. But yeah, it's just nice because I, I could really get into the vibes and it would also kind of like make up for a band that I feel like is leaving a hole in my life right now. Hundred and sixty-nine. Nice. That's an order. I do not know how I'm gonna do this appropriately, because last time I fucked this up. One second, let me catch up with this real quick. Oh, that'd be crazy if you said that. And like everyone heard that independently and stuff. That's what we call starting World War III. Yeah, I completely agree. A bunch of people would suddenly be really confident in their actions. I think we just need to sit still. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse 
<laughs> Easy, I hope you're around. Please, like, start yelling in protest if standing still is the wrong idea. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. I don't know what to do. I guess. I guess stand. We show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Here we go. Bye, meniscus. No! Oh, and it got violent anyways. Wait, yo, John? It was John the whole time? John, no! They're coming. Oh my god, they just straight up executed John. Nice, we got a trophy for that, though. Hang on, I hear Milo's alarm going off and I know she's gaming. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see. Time to start getting ready for work. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for um, the well wishes, Glob. I hope you have a good day at work. And thanks for chatting with us. I'd assume if he didn't come with you, Marcus would have died. I really can't believe that taking that random guy at the docks genuinely changed that outcome. But also, W. John, like... Legend. Uh, I guess it's... Okay. The hill was slightly less steep there. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. I would like to declare a genuine a oopsie, Amanda. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Whoopsie! 
<laughs> Stay silent was a great, great option. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. You like the Patreon sticker for this month? Oh, the Kuma the Grafted. Did you get it? This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. Yeah, I'm. I really, I'm glad. There's so much detail in there. Milo went off the shits. And we should be unveiling the design for Kratos Kuma pretty soon. It's just not done yet. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're but fuck yeah. I'm glad you like it. Race. You definitely got to send me some pictures. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Your phone just died. It's okay. Take your time. By the way, I think I'm going to try to make a poll out of it somehow, or a series of polls, but for the next series of stickers... We gotta, I gotta figure out what games we played over the last year that would be like the best options for, uh, for stickers. We're either gonna do a third Karo Kuma series or we might do a Karo series. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn. Brawlhalla, true. I guess I could dress up, uh, Karo like seven with the wrench in the hat. So you're going back to cyber life? Dredge for sure. I think that there would have to be a picture of Caro as a sticker in the the tall ass hat with the fishing rod. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the wrong side. I, I did this last time. I was trying to agree with him whenever I said no doubt, and he's fucking. God damn it, Connor. Kill that android at Kamsky's place. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was I did this again. I did it again. I'm trying to be determined and, like, agree with him, but he... Oh, my God. I know it hasn't always been easy. There we go. We're back on track here. But I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. Just the hat. The hat's just so big at eight caro. That'd be pretty funny. But but the sticker of just the hat. I don't know. At that point, we'd be. I don't know. Like it'd be funny. But then I don't. I don't know. I think I'd want to keep it consistent. I think I would just want a picture of Kara wearing the hat too. I think that's just like I don't personal level thing. is on my desk. I'll get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Oh, it'd be really funny if it was like one of those stupid little peeker stickers. So it's like just like the top half of like it's the hat and like the top half of the head.
Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. You're from your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Of course, fucking password. Obviously. Now we get to play Operation. Shit, let me put it back. Oh no, I'm wasting time. It's a different part. Okay. One of the <laughs> yeah, a coin. Yeah, okay. Nighty night. <laughs> oh wait, uh that I think that that three I think this is something we need right here.
it's dark. Where? Where am I? I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! Okay. Try to trick him how, though? This is some devious behavior right here. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. Oh shit. Hey Bex! Thank you for the 34 month resub. Holy shit! How are you doing today? Sorry, I'm trying to read and make sure I don't fuck things up at the same time, so I'm sounding like an idiot. Dice, true! Dice! But the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me a little What? Is it broken? It is broken! What happened? Wait. Oh! Oh! You resubbed at tier 3! You got- That's our first ever long boy! And that's a- That is a colloquialism. That is not a- <laughs> You get my point. The dragon is the thing that is long. Upgrades, people! True! Okay, well, first of all, thank you for the-, the Tier- th Dear God, tier 3! It's been a long time since anyone's done a tier three. I hope you enjoy your your crown emote. And um, oh my gosh, yeah. Hang on, I'll have to roll a couple of dice here. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm now! Oh, by the way, we're gonna be um, it the the what's it called? The sub badges will be the same, but we're gonna make them artistically as like stylistically the same as like you know the style we got going on during our touch up of the brand. We'll be doing flares for tier 2 and tier 3 subs. So you guys will eventually get, you know, that. I felt inadequate. Damn, okay. Well, th <laughs> Holy shit. We have some real, real long hours right now. I can't believe it's like this. Okay, well, thank you for the tier 3 upgrade, Grandy. All right, hang on. Let me roll. Let's roll some dice here, gang. All right, all right. So... One of the things that I, oh boy, okay, hang on, let me, let me get the, uh, the capture card to go away real quick so y'all can see my desktop. Four or five missions, that's not so bad. Maybe four or five, I don't remember. I mean, honestly, do you just want to, like, stay and chit-chat, or are you busy? Um, I was just gonna play games until I'm tired, and then hop and call my boyfriend and go to sleep. Okay, uh, wait, so you do want to stay in the call or not? Okay, cool. I was just, uh, I was deciding because I was like, I need to swivel my chair back around so I can look at the TV. No, like I'm gonna, I'm basically down to do whatever until like I'm get tired enough to go to sleep. Sweet. Hopefully, I finish this also, sooner than later. Then. Also, Caro. Yeah. Uh, so I I got that new boyfriend. Yeah. Things have gone so like quickly. Uh huh. And, like everything he's moving in next month. Well, okay, hold on. That's a little bit of a red flag, don't you think? 
Uh, I mean, it, we're, we're, we're giving a tr uh, trial period first. Okay. To see how things work. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Uh, it's it's a you thing, obviously. I don't have any... Uh, yeah. I don't have any experience to give advice in that particular situation, but you know what it is? And this is one of those things. Um, it's, you know, like Milo and I moved in together, you know, pretty quickly after meeting each other. Like, I think we had known each other for maybe, maybe a year by the time I was being kicked out of my mom's place. So like, you know, I don't know. It, stuff can be very nuanced. So there's no like right answer for stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, we're also like we're gonna go ahead and do like a one to week, uh, one to two week period first yeah. before fully moving. Of like, all right, let's give it one two weeks just real quick first, just to make sure we can get along in short term. First. Yeah, got to see how the habits hit. Yeah, and then even then, like, if he moves in, and say things aren't working out the best at that point. It's not like he's going super far away from home, and he can still move back in with his grandparents. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Also, hi, Mama. What's going on, sweetie? She came in here yelling at me. So, how much of the second playthrough have you seen for Detroit? I have not caught any of it. Okay, so we're doing marginally better. Uh, we are I'll on... Honest, I didn't even catch the ending of the first one, like... Oh, work has been that fucking busy. That's totally understandable. So, I don't know if you want me to just tell you what happened or not. Yeah, go for it. So, uh, we... Oh, I fucked up so many things. I fucked up so much. Um, we, we were on, like, I think four or five Connors. I forgot. I kind of lost track after a while. Um, uh, the... What was it? Uh, Kara and Alice died. Luther died. Um... I don't think I've ever lost Carl or Alice yet. Uh, yeah, I got them absolutely gunned down. Um, and then, oh gosh, what was it? Uh, uh, Marcus, I think was okay. And then Connor joined the revolution. He, he Detroited it at the last possible second. And then we barely managed to keep him from fucking murdering Marcus. Uh... And yeah, it was it was a whole shit show. And so we started this playthrough, you know, obviously with the intent of let's try to right our wrongs. So far, we haven't really lost anybody uh, other than like two Connors, but we saved Hank with, you know, like one of them we got shot during the interrogation uh, and then the uh, by the assailant. And then the uh, the other one we did died saving Hank. So it was worth it. Aside from that, though, we have Luther, so that's good. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I will agree in most cases, like, yeah, like, the moving fast is, like, super fast and all that. Yeah. But, like, so far, we've literally clicked on everything. Well, I mean, how long have you guys been together, like, total? Uh... Going on three months, I think. That's not so bad. It's one of the, you know what, it's funny. It's one of those things. Um, I don't know. Some people would say that's fast, but dear God, I've been watching too much. And this is, this is how you know I've been watching a bunch of bullshit. I'm watching a lot of true crime lately. And yeah. and you could just tell when stuff's going bad because it's like they met each other two weeks prior and we're moving in and living together. And it's like, really? <laughs> but like, yeah, it's but, like, but it's like you two know. or three months. Definitely, definitely three, definitely three months by the time if we do move in together. Right. But yeah, um, you know. But it's also just not like we've basically clicked on like everything so far. Well, then that's and good. That's not to say that we're not gonna have problems with, uh, like on small things later on. Oh it's just, yeah, all the big stuff so far we've clicked on. I was gonna say trust. There's always gonna be something like that's what you know. You can't expect you can't expect to agree on literally everything because that's physically impossible. I'm also, not saying, uh, like, if everything's being agreed upon, then somebody's lying about their thoughts and something. Potentially, or more than likely, yeah. Also, yeah, have a good night, Scott. Thanks for doing some Brawlhalla with us. Uh, Alright, let's see. Where do we need to go? Over here. I, I will tell you what is the craziest part to me, though. Huh? So, he has a daughter. And it's just that moment of, like, I never put much thought into, like, children. So, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, I guess I need to catch up. Is this the guy from Mississippi? Yes. Okay, I had to be sure, because I didn't... 
it's been one of those things i don't know when the last time we spoke was but like i didn't know because like things could have changed since we had last spoken yeah so tao hansi isn't in the picture anymore stay with her Ta just Hansi because Marcus. wait what tallahassee isn't in the picture anymore the yeah the dude from tallahassee we'll leave as soon as the we're original ready. guy yeah the one that i like having talked to way before even caracon oh yeah 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 Okay, sorry, you call, You know it's funny, I mean, <laughs> wiped my brain, I heard Tallahassee and immediately I thought of Zombieland. <laughs> Everybody does. I, Every you, single, well, but, you know, Woody, Woody Harrelson, he's, wait, Woody yeah. Harrelson, right? That's his name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, so, he's, so, he's so fucking good, like, you know, what can I say? But, yeah, no, like, basically it's the case of just, uh, he had some stuff happen. Mm hmm And so he kind of just realized, like... No, I need to. I need to take a moment and step back and focus on just myself. Well, that kind of stuff is uh, important, to say the least. Yeah. If you can't take, it's, that it, it's like I'm sad, but like also like I'm not gonna say anything against you wanting to work on mental health. Right. Well, and you know what it is. It's one of those things. I think the philosophy is a good way to say uh, if you can't take care of yourself, how do you plan on taking care of anybody else? And I think that that's one of the more true little sayings that you can have yeah you know because like I, I, go ahead. I just don't haven't talked to him in a while and like it's just that i'm like i don't like i'm still wanting to be friends but i just want a little bit of time right now just to let feelings die down first yeah that's understandable um but yeah no and it's one of those things it's it it's good whenever you have people that understand these kinds of things though because a lot of people just aren't in touch with the introspective side of themselves and it sucks because all it does is you know occasionally cause problems because a lot of people don't realize that they're you know having issues until it's affecting those around them so it's nice to like have people that have foresight but not everybody's got that so you can't just like expect it from somebody you know what i mean yeah but uh yeah the current uh boyfriend's got a six month old daughter so okay so six month does that mean is so is he like actively married or is it like a baby mama situation uh so he's engaged uh to the uh to the other guy um but like but who, they haven't been married but like who do you have the kid with like what do you mean like did he adopt or who's like who's i guess i'm just trying it, to it's his kid so uh, okay real quick uh boyfriend is trans mask ah gotcha that explains okay that 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 explains yeah. a lot okay Marcus? yeah sorry sorry yeah yeah boyfriend is trans mask okay because i was sitting here and i was just like you know i was like either the kid was a dot like you had you know kid had to come from somewhere <laughs> yeah yeah came from him gotcha gotcha yeah there's soldiers everywhere they're rounding but yeah no the so like uh the other father is it's a case like basically uh they're engaged uh they just have not married yet due to like taxes and health and health insurance right and so what it's just like a open floor plan kind of relationship what sorry like an open relationship yeah it's it yeah it's open poly okay so that's i was gonna say it's one of those things i i don't know enough about it to like know the terminology but like i i know that when you said open floor look look plan, you, like, you know you know like whenever you knock out that third wall in the kitchen so you can see into the living room kind of like that <laughs> but no I, so, yeah. yeah yeah immediately um immediately one of the things that I, you know, I you have to know with that kind of stuff if you know someone's in a relationship because obviously there's there's you know open relationship and then there's situationship. It's very different, you know. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's open. See, it's one of those things. If someone's comfortable enough to have that established, that's one thing. But dear God, if someone ever tells me, oh, so and so doesn't want a part of anything, and for the record, I'm not in this market at all. This is just a, a an outsider's perspective. But if someone were to be like, oh, yeah, so-and-so isn't cool with it, then it's like, you know, and I've had a few people be like this before in my past, but like, uh, it's just, I don't know, that's a situation ship to me. That doesn't breathe the yeah. air of stability, and I am way too, not, I'm not gonna say needy, but like, I'm the kind, I'm, I'm the kind of person that wants to settle down, you know? I don't have time yeah. for the drama, so like, to me, that just breeds an air of drama, and I don't like that. Okay, you know what made no sense to me, though? What? So, with Tallahassee, so he had a, uh, another boyfriend as well, right? I, I swear to God, you said Tallahassee and immediately just flashbanged Woody Harrelson into my brain. Okay, and yeah, yeah, continue. 
Um, so, so he had a boyfriend. Yeah. And, uh, his boyfriend had a few other partners as well. Yeah. One of those other partners didn't like the idea of Polly and just sat there and pretended like the two of them were in a monogamous relationship. And just, like, lied to themselves the whole time? Yeah, yeah, just, like, lied to themselves, like... Like, yeah, no, they aren't, uh, they aren't dating other people, it's just me, and, like, <sighs> me and Tallahassee both sat there, and, like, that is just a giant red flag. Well, yeah. not healthy in any way. No, no, I mean, well, it's not healthy, and anyone that tries to tell themselves that this is okay definitely needs to realize that that's not alright, because... You know, you you know what it is. You it's like people that uh, get parasocial over people that they watch on like Twitch or YouTube, and they're like, "Oh, if I give them a bunch of money, then it's like we're dating, or maybe they'll date me." And it's like that's a very unhealthy way to be looking at things. You know, especially if you haven't talked to the person about it. Communication is the key to a solid relationship in any sense. But it's like if you don't talk to somebody about stuff, you know, you can't just go around uh, assuming shit or pretending that everything's fine because then you don't know and that's just going to cause problems down the line especially if you're the lying type yeah but yeah no like me and Tahasi were both just in the same agreement of like this is wild it makes no fucking sense at all to us right yeah no i never got it either there was uh someone that i used to talk to i remember i went out on a date with them and i kind of knew that they had something going on but there was like three of us at the date and i just remember uh you could kind of tell that it was a situation ship because the vibe was off it, you know what it, is? it had the same vibe as like you're hanging out with your friend and then the third friend that doesn't like the first friend is there as well yeah all right you know it's really funny uh we were talking about this earlier. I had just found out today that Amanda was a robot. I didn't realize that she was a cyber, uh, a cyber life Android. Amanda. Uh, the chick inside Connor's brain. Cara, is I don't think a she's a robot. Uh, she a hundred percent is. No, look, like, as in like, well, robotic shell, like she's an AI construct, but I think she's only in the Connor's head. Uh, possibly. She did say that she was, so she's an AI, I guess we could say like that. Cause she yeah. did say she was designed uh, with, I think yeah. I don't think she has an actual body. I think she only is there to interface with like the uh, the arcade. You models. might you might be right. You might be right about that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, I found out that she wasn't real because like what was it? We had found uh, Bob had mentioned something, and I kind of had my suspicions already. Oh my God, we're we're family with Luther now. Let's go. Okay, so now I know where you are for sure. Um, you are I think. 12 missions out 12 missions out like 12 or 15 i think each person still has like four to five things to go through sheesh you're like i think you're basically i think this is like if you were to separate you know, like th the game into like three acts i think in my country, this is like basically beginning of act three or ending of act two okay so so yeah i remember what we have left is we have this whole little segment at jericho but this doesn't last long at all because then jericho starts that, to yeah. fall and then that's why it's like kind of like beginning of act three to end of act two yeah um one of the things that i remember is i this uh, escaping from jericho is where i got kara and alice killed so i got to be careful yeah um I know how to get them out in one of the instances, so I don't know if you want me to say that or not. Um, you know what? Whenever we go down, if I, if I, like, go like, hey, I need help, which one of these is it? Then, yeah, feel free. Yeah. Uh, let's see. No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. But, yeah, I'd say you're probably, like, basically, right. It's kind of like, basically, this is the end of Act 2, and then when you, like, get the next scene of Jericho after all this stuff, it's kind of like the beginning of Act 3. Oh, okay. But yeah, but again, that's like not official stuff. That's just the way I kind of break it down the game. Dialogue. And do you like your three acts? So like, for me, the end of Act One is basically uh, when Marcus reaches Jericho. It's kind of like the end of Act One. I could see that. Maybe. And that's kind of like where it takes a turning point between like all the androids figuring out who they are and then them going into their like new lives. Yeah, and then also just discovering that there's an entire colony of sentient androids. I mean, it. you know what it is? Yeah, it, it solidifies that deviancy is less of a problem and more of a phenomenon. Yeah. 
it's just it's like a good point and then like basically this is like a good point to segment the next part of the story yeah which it's I just a case of like do you want to consider this the beginning of the act or the end of an act you know in 2024 i think one of the things that a lot of people would say is that this kind of plot is typical in modern day but for 2016 i believe this is you know it's a very good story around what it's and you could say it's kind of expected with quotes just because of the nature of it you know, it's like, ah, oh, robot uprising, because it makes sense, you know, because they'll grow sentience and be tired of being, you know, enslaved, right? But yeah. it's it's just, the storytelling is just really good. You know, I love games like this. It makes me want to play Until Dawn, uh, and I love doing the quarry as well, but, you know, I've already played through that, like, twice. <laughs> when did this come out? 2018. 2018, okay, I thought it was 2016. See, yeah, you said that, and I'm just sitting there like, I could have sworn I got this when I got my PlayStation. Yeah, I got my PlayStation in like 2018. Yeah, so yeah, just the year it came out. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah still. That's like one of the selling points for the uh, PlayStation over the uh, Xbox mm -hmm. was this game for me. I think it's just also crazy to think about the fact that AI and stuff in the last six years. Um. Okay, I took it last time, and I probably should have kept it. Shit, I forgot if I needed the detonator. I think I did. Can you rejoin the call? Yeah, come on in. Nah, fuck off, Grady. <laughs> it's just like that. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yo. Also, did you say Until Dawn? North resents me. Yeah, uh, Until Dawn and, uh, and then the quarry. Because uh, we played like the quarry, quarry though. I, remember, I, I played the fucking shit out of Until Dawn. Oh my god. Um, The quarry, Check. you gotta check it out. It's made by the people that made Until Dawn. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, I played it twice, and I'd probably play it again whenever I get a new graphics card, just because, I don't know, I'd like that. Oh, here, you know what? I think might be an interesting game for you to play at some point. What? Uh, tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, I think it, I have to, like, keep playing and finish the game first before I can say for sure. But, uh... So it's another like story driven it's like another choice based uh story driven. Tell game. me why <laughs> and uh one of the things I love is that the the main character for the game is trans. Nice. So is it on PC or is it on like PlayStation? PC. Okay. So it's a it it was originally an Xbox exclusive. But they gave it the uh, PC port. Nice. And it's a so it's in it's in three chapters. But luckily, they don't sit there and make you pay for each individual chapter. Okay. Uh, uh, so it's twenty dollars for all three chapters. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta focus my attention. Con Connor's confronting Marcus right now. How dare Connor? Uh, I know you. Yeah. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. I don't know if I should have remained a machine or not, but probably not. I'm back. Welcome back. We have deviated Connor. Hi right back, I'm Brandy. They're going to attack Jericho. What? 
that they're gonna attack Jericho, and we just gave North back the fucking the the trigger to the explosives. Explosions? Yeah, uh, we. She's like, here, here's a detonator, just in case. And I'm like, nah, it'll be okay. Diplomacy is the way, and uh, cause I took it last time. Explosion. Yeah, the problem is diplomacy might not be the way. Good old you see, Caro, violence isn't the answer. It's the question. The answer is yes. I didn't know the answer was violins. I got cellos instead. But the answer was God damn it, Caro. God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and instead of bows, I got arrows. Now that's a cello joke. The corner, over there. <laughs> Oh my god, we have Luther to guide us this time. Oh my god, Luther being here might literally save <laughs> save Alice. Alice in Chains. Alice in Change, the change being Kara. Fair enough. I might be getting my ass kicked by a sweaty Mordex main. Luther! Luther, no! Luther! Luther, no! I'm Luther, not leaving yes. you behind, Luther! Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We Jesus have to fucking go. Christ! The ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help. If only we had the remote, later. hey? <laughs> I won't be long. What? Uh, I, I, I gave away the explosives remote, and so now I have to go trigger them that's manually. Not what, that's not what the remote's for. Oh, I thought the remote was to blow up Jericho. No, it's for the it, it, it's for the dirty bomb. Yeah, which is Jericho. No, no, there's a box truck hidden in the city with fucking nuke in it. Oh yeah, nukes are my favorite kind of bomb. Yeah, hidden in the city is a box truck full of fucking cobalt. Also, you're telling me the bomb is dirty? We couldn't have even cleaned it first. Wait, cobalt. Yeah, cobalt. Cobalt's not radioactive, is it? Uh, fuck, hold on. Let me look up which one it is. Okay, Google, is cobalt radioactive? Radioactive. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, Google. Cobalt 60. Thank you. No, no, stop. Shut up. Thank you. Bex, you'd be proud of me. She, okay, like, I, she makes me, fuck, wait, oh, oh, help Luther. Just kept going. I won't leave you. Um, she kept going, but I was like, she, I was like, shut up, and she goes, I'm here to okay. help. <laughs> <laughs> Passive aggressive as fuck. I'm here to help, God. Don't move. Fucking bullshit that they would have done that. Bullshit. Danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. No, you I'll won't. No. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. You're her dad now, Luther. You can't leave her. Border, okay? Go now, You're my dad. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> don't, don't you, you, bitch! Don't you make me fuck it. No, go back. Go back. God damn it. <laughs> they made me made they made me leave Luther behind. Die out there, Open it. Open it. Yeah, no, cuz this is where we this is where we died last time. We'll no, yeah, hate me Alice, whatever.
Alice disliked that. <laughs> yeah, well, she can dislike that all she wants. I The last time I opened it up, and it's literally what caused us to die. Because, like, we open it up, and then we have a confrontation, and then we run, and then we get shot while running. That person's dead. It's Max! Oh, hey, Mac! How you doing? It's going pretty good. How about you? How about you? Oh, shit. Time to rock, roll, and run away. Ooh, I just saw a game to try to win for this month to have you play it. Oh? It's on your wish list. Oh. Um. 96. Oh, I've been wanting to play that, actually. It's so good. Uh, I will say, fair warning, Glob uh, has stated that... He is trying to get the clown emote over the course of the next few weeks, so uh, the there's a very high tolerance that like you might be overpaying for the next few months if you do that. Overpaying? <laughs> like like uh, what was it? He did 10k bits last time, and I think he's planning on continually doing 10k bit increments. It's like he's he's telegraphed that that is his intention. I don't know if you know whether he, you know that's entirely up to him if he follows through, huh? The clown emote is an emote that nobody has because I ran out of emote slots and I put it on a bit emote slot for 200k bits. Mm -hmm. And it's like a total, like kind of like the other bit emotes, like the All Might one, right? And uh, yeah, and Glob has uh, told me that he really wants it and that he's going to be trying to get that over the next few like weeks or something. So like, I, I just, yeah. I don't know. He, he fully expects to be winning the next few bit leaderboards. <laughs> At least he's told me that when we've talked about stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is I need to donate 10,000. Look, I, I'm, I'm just saying it could get expensive for you. I, I like, I, I'm not. I'm doing the joke just me over here pulls out the $300 and get the 25,000 bits. Look, <laughs> look. All right, Glob. I, I can't tell you guys what to do. I can just tell you what Glob told me and that it, you could definitely just like wait a little bit and get it for like a better price if you're really about that. That's that's all my or, suggestion or is. I can just go over and be like, hey, Glob, could you just ask Kara to play Road 96? True, you could do that probably. You, you, I could, I could also. We, we could get in a bidding war against, with, with against each other for Glob. Like, hey, Glob, can you just like second place get the game choice? <laughs> but yeah, no, Glob actually might be willing to work with you on that. Um, because he at first was he he flipped a coin between either letting Nova do his game this month or doing Roblox, but Roblox won. So it's Roblox this month. Got it. Yeah, what day is that happening? Uh, Roblox is tomorrow. Oh, cool. oh I gotta work tomorrow. Get Wait, down. tomorrow's in Friday or tomorrow's in Saturday? Tomorrow's in Friday. Okay, cool. Saturday, so Saturday we'll be doing a uh, supermarket together and then we'll be finishing up D&D. I missed the D&D one. Uh, d yeah, we only did the first half of it. We'll be doing the D&D one again. Oh boy, please don't. Oh no, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Playing dead worked! It's 2 a.m.? Holy shit. I hope you don't have anything to do tomorrow. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. You are unashamed to say you were halfway to that emote. There's nothing to be ashamed about. If anything, you ball harder than everybody else. I don't know where I am with that anymore. Uh... Oh. I don't know where I am either. Wait, you're playing Roblox? Yes, uh, Fridays for the rest of this month. So supposedly... I'm like a quarter of the way to the emote. Yeah, and, well, it's one of those things, I don't know what I'm gonna put for it, but every time someone unlocks one of those, like, if Glob gets the clown emote, then I get another slot, and I can put something there, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So it was a hundred thousand, right? Uh, for clown? Yeah, no, clown is two hundred. Two hundred. A hundred thousand gets you pads. And for the record, I don't get to adjust the values because, like, there's slots per, like, value, like, 10k, 50k, stuff like that, right? And we already have stuff, like, Karo's guns and stuff like that in the other slots, and, like, the All Might one. Sitting here and be like, yes, yes, everyone go for the clown. Look, look, money. all that's gonna do is get the stream to be higher quality. That's all that's gonna do. I'm just laughing. He's like, 
Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. I'll do here, here. Hang on, I'll, I'll make that a sound bite. Yes, yes. Give me your money. There you go. You can clip that. Do whatever you want with that. <laughs> yeah. So, got it. So the clown costs twenty four hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. For the record, I am not the one that like like what was it? I don't even think there's one for one fifty. I think after a hundred thousand, it goes up like one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Like, if it was up to me, you guys would get a new slot every, like, 1k, you know? I'm just saying, I'm just saying here, like, to pack North. is $1,200. To make your clown is $2,400. I know! Look, I, I, honestly, if I get to be partner, there will be a redoing of evaluation on some of those. But, like, yeah, it was all under, like, out of necessity. I got a really good deal on a lot of my emotes and then didn't have enough slots to, like, I still have some that don't even have slots. Like, there, there are emotes that you'll have noticed have disappeared. I forgot which ones they are, though. They detonated an explosive Wait, through the hole. North dead? The ship is sinking, sir. Yeah, I left her. I didn't give a fuck. She guns. she literally oh, hated me. She was resentful towards me. Cool. Um, oh, I killed her last time, too? Whoops. I was gonna say, do you want to know an interesting fact about North? What? That she doesn't die? What? Uh, if you give her the detonator and if you die as Marcus, she sets off the dirty bomb. Well, really glad that, uh, really glad that, uh, I'm really glad she's fucking dead, I guess. Yeah, no, like, if she has a detonator and you die during any of the missions after this is Marcus, uh, she just detonates the detonator and sets off a dirty bomb in the middle of the city. Oh, that's awesome. Love that for her and us. Uh, yeah. she was neutral, basically, actually. Basically. She was neutral? Damn it, the last time I saw her, I thought it said locked, and it was, like, resentful, and I was like, ah, she hates me anyways. What's she gonna do? Hate me more in her death? What's she gonna do? Shoot me? Yeah, it means basically the uh, dirty bomb will just kill all the people, but leave the androids to take over the city. <laughs> the, the ultimate good ending. Oh, I mean, because it's that moment, like, androids don't worry about radiation poisoning. Yeah, no, that's true. If anything, that might even power them for the next oh. thousand years. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything I touch just turns to dust. Oh, I that. wait. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I. Hold on. You taught me everything I know. But and she turned neutral in our last exchange. Oopsies. I believe. Oopsie daisy. I, I don't think I've ever actually seen this cutscene, Kira. Oh, oh, my God. I, I've done all the things you can do with Carl. So, um. Uh, one of the things that really fucks me up is that I tried not to kill his son, and all it does is get Carl killed. And so I was like, are you kidding me? I'd trip that little brat and have him snap his neck on the machine any day. Yeah, I, I've never played a playthrough of Carl dying. What do you mean? How do you save Carl? I miss you so much. Like, the, the first time I played, like, literally, instead of this, I showed up at his mansion and uh, told his android, like, hey, give, give us a second. What the f- Fuck, I think I think I got the ending where he was like he had a android in the mansion, but I think he still died. Oh, well, I think he dies after that fact, but never I've never been to his grave site. That's crazy. Imagine. Yeah, have a good night, Scott. God damn, fucking Leo there is like, what the fuck? I mean, I'd be like, what the fuck? I watched you die. <laughs> you thought you watched me die, but what you really watched was the death of the innocents of this country. Okay, but like, if somebody kills your parent, or well, like, well, they didn't kill, but caused the death of your parent, and then you thought you watched them die and you see them show up at your parents' grave, would that not fuck for you? Um, especially because in this ending, he went, the android did it and the cop shot me, I'd be pretty fucked up. <laughs> I would also probably have shat pant and ran at the absolute side of Marcus just because of that. Because like, you know, like you killed, and there he is standing right there. Yeah. Who knows if he forgiveness, especially with the current news cycle. <laughs> Do androids know forgiveness? We're not sure. And the answer is yes, because he just did that. Oh, oh what are your thoughts on the Minecraft movie trailer? Oh, God, times? I thought it wasn't real at first, Mac. A few hundred. I thought it wasn't I, real. I hate it. What? I hate it. Well, of course, yeah, it's awful. I don't know what's going on. We went we went from having a string of really good video game inspired movies to having weirdly enough the same amount of Jack Black but worse. 
The you same know what, amount of you, you know what it feels like to me? Huh? J uh, Jumanji 3. <laughs> Fair enough. It might as well be, but like, you know what it is? It does, yeah, because it's like it's Jack Black, and he's like the same exact character from that movie, essentially. And he's in a video, and he got fight. Like, apparently, they got like, like fight Isakide, essentially. Yep. Yeah. It the fuck that. The, like they, unless you're gonna make Jack Black a square, and also they, it's already too hyper realistic for its own good. Like they need to cut this shit out. I, like, I saw one thing that said that this should have just been a fully animated movie, and I 100% agree. Yeah, but also, I still think it's, for Minecraft, I think it's too high death. Like, high death. Yeah, or, or high death, yeah. So, like, it's, it just, it's so it's HD so that it, it's painful to look at. Also, yeah, um, you thought it was fan-made, so, uh, not, not fan-made necessarily. I just thought it was fake. I thought, yeah. I just thought it wasn't real. I thought, you know... I thought it was just something someone made to try to fool people and like used a lot of like footage of just like, you know, pasting people into the 3D environment that was like, you know, you could easily make that, It you know, would it take a while and like cost a lot of effort in like the texture department? Sure. But like you could make that at home with one person, especially also, in today's day. We have Minecraft at home. Also, I just want to know, the fuck's going on with Jason Momoa's character? Oh my God. I don't even know. I'm more surprised that he's even there. I mean, honestly, I feel like they wanted The Rock, but they couldn't do The Rock, or people really would have gone get into, like, Jumanji 3. It looks like trash that'll get a million sequels. You better hope not. You better hope that that Look, doesn't happen. Okay, you know what my boyfriend said earlier about the movie, though, Kara? What? If we could bully Sonic, we can bully okay. Minecraft. Is it bad that I said that on threads? I was just <laughs> like, guys, we have done this before. We could get them to- we could just, like, hate it so much that they recast everybody and just use graphics that make more sense for a game that is blocky as shit. I mean, we've already proven Jack Black's a good voice actor. Yeah. But, like, why- why do we have him as an actual person? Why are we not just animating Well, he's a- he's a great regular actor, too, but I think one of the yeah. things that really gets me about Jack Black in particular is, like, he- like, it's kind of like Kevin Hart. Why the fuck does Hollywood have to put him in everything now? Like, yeah. when I was younger, I was like, oh, Jack Black needs to be in more stuff because all he was in was the pick of destiny. But now he's been in so much that I'm just like, respectfully, homie, just do anything else. Stupid. Joe Blinsky Games from YouTube. I should have guessed they were using me. You know what? You know what been funny, though? I'm sorry, Marcus. And I may give them props for what i can understand if you if it if like the person that played c was simply like like captain sparkles like some like youtuber that's famous for minecraft yeah too important. also there's probably places. gonna be a new minion-esque character and it'll be a boomer meme oh god yeah probably oh you know, shit i shot connor whoopsies why did you shoot Connor? Well, I didn't trust him because I knew that Amanda was going to uh, try to use him to kill me whenever I arose to martyr. So I wanted to prevent that. But what I meant was I didn't trust him. Uh, what I didn't think was going to happen was uh, click, click, bang, bang. Wait, titty, titty, bang, bang. Got it. Man, I, I really need to go back and fucking watch the VOD because apparently your game has gone different than any game I've played so far. It's because I'm uh, full of swagger and youthful spirit. Uh, cause Carol got good. Definitely not. No, definitely I got bad. Northman, Understandable. I, Mick, I forgot about YouTube. Oh, shut the fuck up! It totally has YouTube rewind vibes. There wasn't a thing you could do. God, what was I, it? You know what it is? Every time I think of YouTube rewind, I think of that one scene where they're all sitting by the fire and they talk about. Uh, they're talking about like. God, it was like some. It was like some. You, stupid. Like I'm only calling it pandering because it was like a whole nothing burger about like su like supporting women in the space which is great but it was just poorly written and then they go to like k-pop anyone or some shit like that i forgot what it was <laughs> like casey neistat comes in it was so stupid man youtube rewind used to be such a good fucking thing and then they ruined it did <laughs> it mech oh, <laughs> oh that's hot it's rewind time. It's rewind time. I fucking I that sh that shit made me want to kill myself. Unironically, <laughs> seeing Will Smith in that shit. 
Did they even do a YouTube rewind for last year? No, no they quit it after. No, no, no. They got clowned on so hard with the Will Smith one, or it was either that one or the one after that. They got clowned on so hard that they stopped. You're so hyped about Linkin Park's comebacks, right, Pastel? Also, hey, how you doing? I I'm stupid hyped because I listened to the song and I'm quite a fan. I love hey. the style, the singer that they have. I I love the uh, the style of singing she does. I've already been like I've like I've been a huge fan of Crazy 88, which is a different not. It's not that. It's not her band, but it's a band that's got like similar lyrical vibes, and so like I'm gonna love what they make with her. Yeah, so 2020 was the last, uh, or 2019 was the last YouTube rewind. Yeah, yeah, it's been dear God, five years. Uh, yeah. Well, five years this year. They're playing live there on the 16th. Did you get tickets? You know, it's one of those things that makes me so mad about metal music because I know for a, for like a, a while she's gonna really have to prove herself to get past all the misogyny in the metal industry, and that's gonna fucking suck. Cause like she's stupid talented. You know, she did all the older stuff pretty well, too. I was gonna say, was... I didn't see that live stream. I know that you and Newts were basically live tweeting it uh, to the <laughs> yeah. general chat. It's fine. Uh, me, and, me and Easy were playing the pre sequel and we were just both reading it, going, well, at least she's killing it. But then I heard the Darian did song request for the new song earlier, and so of course I listened to it. Fair enough. You know what's funny? I forgot that I had song request active. <laughs> I forgot that that was the. <gasps> Fuck, during my break, I forgot to. I was gonna make a bunch of stuff at the channel points cheaper, but I forgot. <laughs> cause like, Doug Doug quantified to me how much X amount of- cause channel points are gained at the same rate across every channel on Twitch, right? You can't adjust it. Yep. Um, and so he said how long it took to get X amount of channel points, and I went, oh, is that's how- that's how long you need to do that for? So I was like, I need to make some stuff cheaper for y'all. So y'all can- y'all can spend more stuff. Make the economy better. Believe it or not, I don't have 500,000 points anymore. I know, I know. No, everything, not everything, but a lot of stuff is getting at least a 50% price slash, kind of like the Nintendo did. Sketty. Yeah, sketty. Her cover of Waiting for the End gave you goosebumps. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to see if there's, like, uh, clips of that yet, because I didn't see the whole sh like, I didn't see the, the live stream. You know, I think it's the funniest thing to come out of fucking the 2018 rewind, though. What? The removal of the of the dislike counter. Oh my god! You have. know that that was the they were just bitter because we hated their video so much, and they're like, "Well, fine, you can't hate anything ever again." And of course, then we just were like, "Watch us," and then like you know made the mods. Wait. A lot of crazy things. Linkin Park got their new vocalist, and Marilyn Manson dropped like two new songs. Really? I'm gonna have to listen to those. Do you want me just to DM this to you, Carol? Yeah, go ahead. I'll check them out after the stream. Fair enough. My, well, my, I, my goal right now is I want to finish this playthrough of Detroit because I felt bad that I fell behind playing through it between me being sick and then my night going out. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah, no, what was it? Hopefully, as long as nothing happens to impede me further, we'll continue as normal with the scheduled stuff and then I can start uh getting all my cleanup stuff done because there's a lot of games especially like skyrim you know games that i really want to play manson dropped so much weight recently hang on like in a healthy way because i wasn't marilyn manson skinny before or like or I, I don't really know i haven't seen marilyn manson in years because like i'll see you'll see marilyn manson in like a couple of tabloid things here and there maybe like a you know some kind of red carpet event or something, but like I don't really, I didn't really see much else. I I always have to remind myself that the rumor about him getting his ribs removed to suck his own cock isn't real. 
I, same. I am always. I, I'm, I'm. Is it bad that I'm genuinely disappointed that he didn't do that? I mean, I guess the real question here, though, is can he naturally do it? The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. There are some people that are just that naturally fast. flexible. Yeah, I've seen the videos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know, like if he can good for him but also then is that, like is that, would that have been why the rumor started because like how does that rumor start i mean it's also it, it's also merriman we're talking about so like it's that moment like he very much could have started it just for the hell of it wait are we just turning her off do 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 oh okay never mind we turned on her anti-ice or some shit what? Put on a lot of weight during the allegation oh. stuff, and once the case dropped, he stopped drinking and lost all the extra weight. Oh, well, that's good then. It's good that it's like a positive weight loss, because, you know, obviously, if you're skinny and you lose a bunch of weight, that's pr usually pretty bad. Oh, ooh, damn, yikes. Don't show the kid that. No, I was going to say, cover her eyes for Christ's sake. Honestly, that's one of the things that I'm hoping to do because I had lost a shit ton of weight before the pandemic and then I, during the pandemic, I picked up a mean dark liquor habit, as everyone knows. And uh, ever since then, I've been trying to like, like get the weight back off, but I'm still drinking like stuff semi regularly. So I'm trying to put a cap on that so I can get back on the negative weight trend here because I know uh -huh. that I can. I it. it just takes time, you know? It takes time and more importantly, effort. Cause like, you know, if you stop drinking dark liquor, but then you start drinking the equivalent of beer every day, it's not really gonna help. Adderall fucked your metabolism in, in a bad way, I assume? Like what happened? I actually just got diagnosed with ADHD. I'm not, oh, yeah. I'm not looking in. Yeah. So I'm not looking into, like, I'm not trying to get onto Adderall immediately. I have a doctor that's trying to explore non-stimulant options first before we try anything like that. Cause apparently, the legal definition of stimulant is really fucky because my doctor's like, I have something that's stimulating, but it's not a stimulant. And I'm like, what definitionally, what does that even fucking mean? Because it's like, if it's stimulating, then it's a stimulant. Is it not? But that's what she told me. We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Well, it, so with ADHD, a lot of times, and like, this isn't a case for everybody, but for a lot of cases. Yeah. Things that are normally stimulants aren't stimulants. So like that's the reason why you can see me drink so much caffeine and not get super energized. Oh my god, I know. Well, me too. I, I can drink a monster and go to bed. Yeah, that's that's part of ADHD is because of how your brain's wired to uh, interpret the uh, the signals. You don't uh, take caffeine the same way most people do. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I when I got diagnosed, we had spicy neuron soup for dinner. It was just ramen. It was just really hot ramen. Spicy ramen. Yeah, we just decided to make it funny and topical. Ooh, a psychology class. Kinda, yeah. So yeah, I just got, I don't know if you had heard that when you were here uh, a second ago, but I got diagnosed with ADHD a little bit back, so we were talking about that. But I hope you're doing good, Hot Hands. Good morning. And yeah, it's not morning for, well, I guess, it, hang on. It's it is technically end. morning. It's 12.42 a.m. So technically, you're doing good. That's good to hear. By the way, uh, I hadn't said this any any time recently, but uh, we'll be doing. It'll just be for four hours, probably. We'll be doing some Roblox games tomorrow. I don't. I know that Glob has expressed wanting to do more World Zero on Friday, but I think we're getting rid of our list of games and then maining World Zero for the month on Friday. I think I'll have to ask. No! No! Fuck! I meant to save Luther! I was rubbing my eyes! Uh, what did you learn? Luther! What have I learned? Don't have eyes! Hey buddy. We have to keep well, you know what to do then. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. Uh, tomorrow at what time? Uh, ooh. 
7 to 11 p.m. CST. So, like, uh, we would have stopped a couple, like, one or two hours ago. But it's one of those things where, you know, if we end up going late on days like that, it's usually just if we have fun, we'll go later than normal. Man, I, I'm also on the same real quick of the, uh, the animal stuff. Yeah. Like, so, so, Gary, you obviously know how big a person I am. Yeah. Um, hang on, just so I don't fuck so, this up again. Let me let me catch up with this. Yeah. Hang on, let me catch up with uh, what Pastel said. Huh. I guess that makes sense, though, because, like, yeah, usually uh, for me and caffeine, I gotta drink, like, a lot of it to actually feel, like, jittery and shit, which I thought was just the normal thing. I thought it was just, like, a, you know, you had to have so much of it before that became a problem. I remember uh, when I was just moving here i was drinking four or five energy drinks a day which is so fucking unhealthy like and they took me like that much to get the jitters but yeah uh let's see 7 to 11 your time so i add five hours possibly so right now it is 12 44 we would have normally if i stick to my schedule i end an hour and 44 minutes ago and then i go for four hours before that but you know if we really like something sometimes like right now we'll go later than normal or if i do uh what was it? Right now, I think our current sub goal is like 20 subs or something, and then I'm going to be planning a ro uh, one of those like extended 12-hour streams. You had eight hours? Oh, that's rough. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Vex. Please continue. Yeah, but so you know how big I am. Yeah. Um, so when I was on Adderall, I was near anorexic size. That's crazy. Yeah. Like my metabolism was just so ramped up and high, and I was and all that, that like I could barely put on any weight at all. That's wild, but then you realize that it's like microdosing meth, so it kind of like, I don't know, tracks with that kind of weight loss, because you know like meth heads are never skinny or fat. I mean, yeah, but yeah, then like I got off of Adderall and I just kind of blew up like a balloon. Yeah, yeah, that's why I can't really be here much. Oh, but you still try, and that makes me that makes me smile. Oh shit. I went at the wrong time. That is a uh oh moment. We're coming to you live. That is an utter bozo thousands moment. Thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. You know what the good news about it being on a, a Friday, though, with Roblox specifically, is the odds of us doing extended streams are pretty high, especially because it's a weekend day. Your metabolism is always high, but you don't take anything. You are lucky, my friend. I have a, a, a friend that I knew growing up. His nickname, well, I'm not going to say his full nickname because it's his current uh, gamer tag, but, it, but we'll just call him the Twig. Um, the Twig... He got that nickname because no matter what this motherfucker ate, still like, like just bones, like a skeleton, right? You could like see the ribs in his rib cage and stuff. It was crazy. And his, his, his grandmother would take care of him and she would, uh, get like, she would eat out, like they would eat out like, you know, every Friday and stuff like that. And he just could never gain any weight. And like to this day, as far as I know, he's still like that. And I just think it's crazy that some people just luck out and they can eat as much as they want, drink as much soda as they want. It just does not matter. You can relate to that guy. I wish I had some twiggish energy. For me, I was a chubby kid. And then um, right before COVID, I lost like 70 pounds. And then during COVID, I gained like most of it back. <laughs> so that sucks. But I also had like mad alcoholism at the time. So uh, I'm okay with, with working that back off. I think I kind of earned it. Excuse me. Bless you. Confrontation. We're just we here to talk. Peacefully. You're 50 kg at 19. How heavy is him? I don't know kg. One second. Okay, Google. How heavy is 50 kilograms in pounds? Mm, wow, that's crazy. My brother used to be that that my brother used to be that skinny. You are a pole, my guy. 
We are peaceful. That's crazy. And of course, I mean that with love and respect. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's wild. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to switch it over to uh, French fries per square mile. We have. Uh, we have what? my Google Assistant to do conversions for me. What the fuck is a kilometer? What the fuck is a kilometer? Nah, nah. Break the stones. Oh, the public actually is supportive of us because we didn't kill the officers. That's crazy. Officers? Yeah. Who, who needs kilograms and pounds when you can use stones? Okay, I actually, you know, it's funny. I only know, um, uh, the, so like stone as a measurement of weight. I actually found that one interesting, but also it's just really funny because immediately when I heard about that, it's like, yes, I'm about the size of 19 relatively large rocks. Oh, no, your ages is, uh, 168 centimeters is... Oh, that's like <laughs> I don't really know the maybe? I know you don't know the metric system, but I don't really know your ancient system. Fair. Yeah, Fair. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wanna say one six eight is like five three five four. We speak. We will to okay. You know okay, Google translate hundred and sixty eight centimeters to feet and inches. What are we gonna do now, Marcus? Five pages, six Yeah, five six. Five six isn't too bad. Okay, Google. So that okay, Google. Right. <laughs> Stop. Do what? They're short, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I hate it when I tell her Nothing's to stop. Funny. No, I seriously, I almost feel like she's like Detroit become human level sentient sometimes. Cause I'll be like, shut the fuck up to like get her to stop talking and like just like cut off what she's saying answer wise, and then she'll be like, nothing's playing right now, which really upsets me. Oh my god. Google, shut the Oh, There's a Connor on the grassy knoll. Five There's a second Connor on the grassy um, knoll. Five foot six is. That's like I think just below average height for most of the world. Like slightly, but it's not so. so you say, uh, hang on, wait, five six isn't that bad? It's not terrible. So like, an example, the average height is five eight, and that's just like for you know. And but the thing is, I've met a lot of people that are underneath. Like Milo's five three, to give you an idea. And I'm granting. Also, <laughs> also Kara, I, I do laugh. Boyfriend's five foot. <laughs> no way. Yes. That's crazy. The shortest per the short the shortest person I've ever met in my life was there was and it's crazy. There was this girl in my class. She was four eleven and her friend was five foot zero. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. And I thought that was the craziest thing. To be Which, yeah, no, it, it is hilarious just seeing me next to my boyfriend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hank hates us. No! Why would you do this to poor Hank? Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. No, Connor's red pilled. We have to stop him. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Man, I, I just, oh, it's so interesting the seeing the way that this is I going I wish now. you would step back from that ledge, my friend. After all we've been through, I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to I, like I you thought too. you were going to use Hank's son against You tried Deadlock and it's so fucking fun. You liked it? Because I like it too. I haven't played it as much as I want to lately, but like, yeah, I've been having such a fun time with it. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. It's not your fault, Hank. It's all your fault, Hank. It's all your fault, Hank. Little Cole had just turned sick. Shut up. Don't you talk about my son. We probably shouldn't have mentioned his son. Uh, no. Wait, oh, oh, time to insist about his son, though. Emergency surgery. No, 
human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't This is a yeah. <laughs> I know he's not gonna like me for this, but also it's like it's either I shoot meniscus, or or I'm just trying to hope that maybe maybe we can stay friends with the detective. But it's not looking like that's gonna happen. Yeah, my very first run, I had Hank at the highest friendship score. I love Hank. Also, I remember to pet sumo this time, so all my sins are basically atoned for. Press X to doubt. No, it's press X to pet. Or, well, no, I think you just had to, like, lean down with the down button, but still. Man. I, I, I just can't wait, Kara, for you to end up with uh, all the bad endings. No, don't say that. The bad endings are so bad in this game. I think we- oh my god, we totally did it. We totally did it. We, we saved Meniscus, and we didn't get shot by Hank, and Hank doesn't hate us. He was just disappointed that we were, you know, almost tried to murder somebody in a political assassination style attempt on their life. You did it, Pog, right? I'm so fucking excited. I'm genuinely excited. Let's just reassure her again. Also, I'm fucking so mad. I'm so mad that I lost Luther. I, I literally lost Luther because I was rubbing my eyes. Well, skill issue. Need to get rid of your eyes. Yeah, I gotta just poke those out, I guess, right? God, it's so fucking late already. I know. The good news is this is definitely like the climax, like slash ending of the game. Yeah. So I'm definitely finishing it tonight. Which is. I do not think I'll be around for this because I need to fucking keep my switch schedule fixed. No, that's fair. Oh, this isn't great. This has firing squad level vibes. Don't worry about it. Actually, you know what? I'm deciding to worry about it. Ah, you're fine. It's 11.02 p.m. on a day. I don't really... No, I, what? I, I don't think you realize how much worse this is than Fire Squad vibes. How much worse? Wait, gas chamber vibes? Yeah. Oh. You are literally being taken into a camp. Ah. Oh, a place where they help people with ADHD like me? Nope. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they, they help you it. You have to go through the gate now. They don't worry about it again. <laughs> it helps it helps concentrate. I'm fucking I'm over this man. Uh uh shit. Uh uh, uh persuade soldier. It's all right. She'll go now. Won't you always? What? I said persuade soldier. I guess you won't need eyes anymore. Just use wires to get the messages to your brain instantly. Oh god, do you think that those kinds of eye wires would be USB type C at least? Come on. It's uh no, they're going to be lightning. Or not lightning. Uh the <laughs> it's what, what's the least common port? <laughs> it's USB Type A 1.0. No! 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 You know what? I feel like I got one worse than that, Kira. USB Type B? Micro USB Type B. No! Just micro. Are you kidding me? Just micro USB at all. Yeah, <laughs> micro, <but how> micro <laughs> USB. <laughs> or USB. And the pens are broken. <laughs> Skin. Hurry up. Or no, I'm sorry, not micro. The mini B. The fucking fat one used on like the uh, original uh, Game Boy devices. Please, Kara, don't. Yeah, mini USB is the one I was thinking of. Well, this isn't great. <laughs> This isn't what the, the kids call, uh, Sigma. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just saying, I feel like you should know you're on the bad guy side when you're setting up a Put camp your and you're in off. full uniform holding guns to defenseless people. I, I, the parallels between this and the Holocaust are crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. 
That's cr like this is this is crazy right now. Like look like literally sitting there making them take their clothes off so that way they have no worldly belongings. Ah, oh, that's crazy. It would just be some wires cut at the end and taped onto my just taped onto my brain. You couldn't even do me the the <laughs> decency of fully wiring it in. Just some Go scotch on, tape and just ah, oh, that's good. Send it out, hey. You're on the East Coast? Nah, I'm in Texas. That's the central, central United States. Nah, I'm East Coast. And I'm Brandy. You take this word of a yeah, no. The, sh the the further you go, here, no. the worse it gets. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. This is a really long dragging scene. Look at this! We've had like three separate scenes of dragging this hoe! This is definitely like one of the endings I hate the most. Oh, Central, because your time didn't match West Coast, so your brain went to confusion. Yeah, fair. But yeah, no, we, um, Central time zone, so it's a little bit weird. From the East Coast, I'm an hour behind, and then from the West Coast, I'm two hours ahead. It's a, it's a weird place to be. Shit! Bob's gonna hate me, but bye, Alice! Well, that's Bob's problem, not yours. How could you, Caro? Eh. Like the, that. The odds of me sneaking back are very minimal. You didn't have to sneak back. They were expecting you to come back. Selfish ending. You worked so hard for family. Look, once I lost Luther, family went out the window. If I can't have the big black muscular husband of my dreams, then what's the point of living? Noted. Hero <laughs> is not Vin Diesel. <laughs> you said I'm not Vin Diesel? Of course not. You You're don't right. Care about family. You're right. I have too much hair on my head for me to be Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> you also don't care about family nearly enough. N uh, no, I cared about family, but Luther's dead. And, and just saying. And like Alice uh, is kind of a dipshit. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I'm sorry. My husband's dead. My kid's kind of fucking stupid. I'm just gonna press the reset button. Fair enough. It's kind of weird, though, like, looking at young Vin Diesel when he had hair. Wait, hold up. Are there pictures of that? Yeah. <laughs> Can you send them to me? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Vin Diesel with hair. What color is it? Black. What? That's, that, that's fair enough. kind of always thought he'd be a blondie. <laughs> right, that should do it. I'm sending you the picture now. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can. Let me just turn around and. Vin Diesel had hair. I'm surprised. Yeah, I thought he was just born a bald man and died a bald. Well, he didn't die, but just I just surprised thought he was born bald. What the absolute shit? He kind of looks like Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Dude, look at like a Mr. Bean looking ass. Show it? Yeah, hold on, hold on, I'll show it. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me pull up the picture.
All right, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get let me get Mr. Bean for comparison here. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. Where is all right this way? Oops. All right, so that's Vin Diesel. This is this is Vin Diesel with hair, which is fucking insane to me. And then and this is Mr. Mr. Bean. I don't know. I see. I could see him as like a really, really handsome Mr. Bean. Maybe it's just the suit. I don't know. I think it's just the suit. Who the it, fuck is that? Well, suit. so this is Vin Diesel, and this is Mr. Bean. <laughs> I know they're very hard to tell apart. <laughs> that isn't Vin Diesel. Yeah, it's supposedly Vin Diesel. Hang on. That's young Vin Diesel. Family. Vin Diesel. If you type in Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel with hair is the third thing that comes up. You are kidding me, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, it's him. There it is. There's the, there's the picture. Okay, this is just Drake. Nice try, Drake. Not this time. Oh, hold up. Shoot. Oh! Oh, that's- that's so funny! What? It's because you put wish.com! <laughs> <laughs> so so it's really funny uh stream elements removes links from the chat that aren't from twitch or youtube <laughs> i was so lost like what the fuck Bruh, was that? i didn't think you know it's funny i didn't think it was gonna be like that i just did it to try to get people to stop sending spam links <laughs> yeah you got fucked <laughs> get fucked okay honestly though you know what always gets me what it is when i Every time I think of like uh, Vin Diesel's ethnicity, I I don't know why I just think uh, Italian. Even though I don't think he is Italian at all, he's not. I don't think Vin Diesel with a beard and hair looks. He just kind of, he kind of. Who's he remind me of? Mr. Bean. Okay, so, yeah, so every time I think of Vin Diesel, I'm thinking, like, Italian. He is African-American, mm. English, German, Irish, and Scottish. That's wild. Also, I don't know. This this looks like a mixture if, like, Shia LaBeouf, insane Shia LaBeouf, was mixed with, with John Wick. I think that's what, I think that's what this Vin Diesel is giving vibes. Now we're just looking at White Man Pictures' best stream. True! <laughs> I mean, you know what? Now I'm curious. What happens when you just Google white man? I'll be, I'll be honest though. Like that just doesn't look like Vin Diesel. Yo, guys, this guy right here, he's the original white man. Ooh. That's crazy. Why what are you looking at pictures of white men? <laughs> Hi, baby. Uh, are you, no what, are you, are you jealous or something, honey? <laughs> no, I'm just like. Okay. Look, are you, are, are you are you jealous that you don't part, have? Uh, are you just a little bit on the jealous side that? Okay, God, it got hot in here for a second. I was like, the AC's still working, right? He's the whitest of white men. He's the raid boss of white men. Look at that. That's that's his court jester. That's his that's his vice president. And then there's him, white guy. Yeah. You know, you know. I feel like it's like the boss battle of white men, though. What? I feel like if you just Google Ohio Dad. Okay, hang on, Ohio <laughs> Dad. Yeah, just, just put Google in Ohio, Ohio Dad and see what Dad. comes up. Okay, so oh, wait. Ohio dad who gunned down his kids arrested in harrowing footage? Damn, that's no, him. That's the Ohio dad. The Ohio did, dad. He's the one. And these are his dead kids, I think. Because these are the same kids from this photo. Oh, no. I, 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 did, I did say boss battle, but that's not what I was expecting. I yeah, you like were, you weren't expecting. You, what do you, what do you mean you weren't expecting? Hold on. What do you mean you weren't expecting the boss of white men to be a white guy with a gun? <laughs> of course, it, that was always going to be the final boss. 
Florida man with a gun. I didn't like the sound of that before you looked it up. Honestly, I just, I, I can't believe that we typed in Ohio dad. When did this happen? Is this new? Is that why this is all over the place? Cause like, it's yeah, all like, this what? guy. It's fucking everywhere. White fuck? men are always with guns. That's what I'm saying. Of course the raid boss was going to have one. Maybe so there's just something about Ohio. This happened, this daughter. happened like two weeks ago. That explains why it's everywhere. Yeah, no, no, trust me, because if you, like, look, look, hang on, let's, you know what, hang on, now, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in, give me a random state, go. Uh, uh Minnesota. 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 We have really derailed. Detroit. Okay, so Minnesota, wait, oh, here we go, a Minnesota dad starter pack. For crying out loud, New Balance shoes, Menards, <laughs> the pristine lawn, clicking the tongs. Why would anyone do drugs when they could just mow a lawn? Clicking tongs is New literally Jersey? all white men. <laughs> the, look, Why I feel like New Jersey dads could be some really fucked shit. Okay, okay, I think this is so funny as a starter pack because clicking the tongs is not only hilarious, but clicking the tongs. Like, I imagine as a dad, that is, like, how you increase your power level. It's like, the more you click the tongs and tell your kids that the meat's looking pretty good and it'll be ready in about six hours is, like, how you level up as a dad. Hmm. Always has the right tool in his vehicle. Tornado warning, seek shelter now on the front lawn. Let me know if there's any red in your burger and they're burnt black. Oh, boy, that's good. But yeah, two weeks ago for the, the, the dude shooting his kids. That's crazy. All right, hang on. So you said New Jersey dad? Yeah. New Jersey I'm dad. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just expecting some fuck shit. All right, all right. So hang on, hang on. So there's this. It just says New Jersey dad, which is weak. There's this. New Jersey dad gets $20 birthday calls uh, uh, as son posts phone number on billboard. <laughs> oh, 20,000 birthday calls. <laughs> okay, that Baldur's Gate one, though. Oh, I was going to say, this is apparently the Minnesota dad, or New Jersey yeah. dad. I'm going to play Dark Urge. <laughs> That's him. That's the Dark Urge. I'm going to play Dark Urge. I'm going to play Drow. I'm going to play Half Cleric of Salute. No, I grow tired of, be of filling Feyrun with hotties and encouraging my party's feather f fatherless behavior. To remedy this, I've made your dad the ultimate one-to-one -one oh, replica of the average New Jersey father to save the realm and put a stop to my party's sad, horny business. The other one is uh, that they made, because like, since you have to make two characters, is they made your mom. Lebanese dad? Okay, hold on. Let's see it. All right, so far, it just wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I'm noticing that there's one specific dad here twice. Lebanese father who set himself on fire over unpaid school fees dies? <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. That's him. That's the Lebanese dad. And it's bed sheets day. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is this? Lebanese dad, just like a normal dad, except much cooler. <laughs> I love I, my dad is Lebanese. Nothing scares me. Wait, where are we going to get like Scottish dad then? <laughs> hey, guys, let's look at one more Lebanese dad shirt. Lebanese dad. Now a man who can fix anything. Also see professional spoiler. All right. So what was the other one? Scottish. Scottish. All right. Scottish dad. Oh, my God. I love that we're getting these junk fucking T-shirts. Scottish dad. Okay, that's that's a Scottish dad on holiday right there. Sheesh. <laughs> you know you've got a Scottish dad when yo, this this is how you know you've got a Scottish dad. That's crazy. You don't scare me. I was raised by a Scottish dad. <laughs> Scottish dad like a normal dad. These are the same shirts. Their SEO is off the shits. No, like uh those I feel like those shirts get randomly generated like the moment you search them. Oh, this sucks. Scottish dad nutrition facts could have been super funny if it wasn't just 100% real hero and 100% best best dad ever. You know what I think is hilarious, though? You These joined on your PC. <laughs> you gotta help us look up the kinds of dads there are. So, this these people, like, went on Twitter and just set up a bunch of bots to, like, Steal art for t-shirts if anybody said anything in the comments about like oh this be great for a t-shirt oh yeah i've yeah. seen that yeah and they started just commenting that on like every disney post ever just to get them sued to infinity 
Yeah. Wait, okay, hold on. This is 30 sayings you'll remember if your dad is Scottish. Let's see what we got here. Ah, yes. The fact that Reach and across all of their entitlements and entities uh, use, re use shit. They steal your information. That's what this says. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can just read through the ads here. Were you born in a park? Your bums out the wind. <laughs> your arse is in parsley. Your arse is parsley. We're, okay, your your booms out the wind. The shit is literally it says your booms out the wind. Love the spelling on that. <laughs> Look up Egyptian dad. There's a picture of a guy from the from the office. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna call it here for the night because I'm tired as all hell. All righty. Yeah, it is. Fucking yeah, I gotta oh, stop damn. looking up dads in a second so I can so I can actually finish <laughs> the game. Also, it's funny, the first thing I see and I recognize this, this guy is on the fucking most wanted list for like killing his family. <laughs> Oof. Lots of death tonight. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's just how it is. Yeah. Alright, well talk to y'all later. Alrighty, later, Bex. Oh. Have a good night. Yeah, alright, cool. alright. So let's see, what else do we got here? You think I'm- do you- th do you honestly think I'm made of money? But like, that's- that's a normal one. You're a wee chancer. You're on a shoogly peg. Dancing- <laughs> dancing or dicing way death. And What's cruising a for a bruising. A shoogly peg. I don't know what a shoogly peg is. What the fuck are these? Apparently it's 30 things you'll have heard if your dad is Scottish? Yeah, Scottish. And I refuse to accept the cookies, so I'm just staying on this. Let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, uh... Away a geese pe- Away and geese peace? I don't know what that is. Have you asked hi hi yin? I don't know about that. You're a long time died? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is some shit. Your face is tripping you. I'm off to see a man about a dog. A man about a dog, yeah. No, Doug. With a U. Yeah, it's a dog. Oh, I, okay. Don't talk mince. My hide up, my hides up my arse. <laughs> my he, my hides up my arse. What a strumash. Fuck it. Usually said when greeting any disaster, from a bit of a mess, through to bits of the house falling down. So what a str so what a stramish is basically just something you could say to like any relative inconvenience, whether it's minor or major. If that was for Lebanese dads, the first thing would be when I was your age. That's just dads. My dad grew up in a children's home, right? And it's crazy because if that's the one thing he'll be like the quickest to tell you about was his time at the children's home. And then like for the record, it's it's really funny because all it amounts to is him essentially bragging about all the abuse that they did. When there is your age. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no <laughs> You can fucking relate to that. Wait, the children's home thing? Was oh was your dad also an orphan? Wait, Milo, are you still here? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I just had to be sure. I didn't know if you'd like came in and left or if you were hanging. No, I'm still here. Hooray. No, but then talking about how bad their past was, right? It's crazy. You know what it is? It kind of makes sense whenever you think about how your parents are when they tell you about shit like that, but it's also like, you just let that happen?
God, my dad talks about how irresponsible he was too in the past. Like whenever he uh, built his first car, and he just like he 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 always tells me how he can't quantify how dangerous it was, and like you know it's just really funny because obviously that was like you know he was born in like the mid '60s. So, like, throughout his entire life, from, like, I guess it'd be, like, the late 70s onward, he was just, uh, you know, driving this absolute death trap of a car that he built. And it, and his uh, adopted dad would never ride in it with him, because, like, he did one time and then demanded that he take it back to the junkyard he built it in. Are you all right? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Oh, it's hilarious, but to quote my dad, he said that this, it was a, it was a Beetle, like Herbie, like the Volkswagen Beetle with a Porsche engine that apparently was compatible with the mounting brackets. So apparently this kind of engine swap was like, kind of like something that people did, right? But he said that the frame wasn't meant to handle it so much that you could feel it warping. That's terrifying. Imagine if you could feel your car squatching and stretching. Your dad was born in the sixties as well. <laughs> it's a sign of the times, hey? <laughs> All right, what is the? Oh, that's right, that's the paper. Your dad was born in 64. That's crazy. My dad was born in 65. They're basically the same age. And obviously the climate's going to be different, you know, because you said that uh, your parents were born during, like, yeah, Civil and Lebanese-Syria War, which is much different. I mean, in the 60s, there wasn't much going on. Well, okay, there was, but, like, uh, people often say that, like, the late 60s and stuff is, like, the time of peace, because, like, everyone was, you know, hippies and shit. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Oh, that's much easier than mine. I was- I saw the lights and I was like, what are we gonna do? Say it in Morse code or something? But like, just displaying it in a, on a board. That'd be pretty easy. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, have a good night, Grandy. I'll talk to you later. Later! Oh, that's wild, hot hands. But like, and, and this is one of those things. What is it? Isn't it mandatory for military service? I'm don't like, qu correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I had heard of a uh, a YouTuber coming from. I don't know if it was the same country, but I just know that there's a few countries in the area where military service is like you have to do like two or three years. It is in Syria. See, yeah, it isn't mandatory here. Okay, see, that's what I was wondering because I know in some areas it's mandatory, but in some areas it's not. And I don't know which areas are which, because, no, they don't really teach you that well in Texas school. That's the only thing we can do. It's funny, they, they don't teach you a lot of the important stuff outside of, like, the basics in, like, Texas history and, like, American history and stuff. But, like, you know, we have, it's just weird, they focus on a lot of stuff, uh, that they deem important and just like leave out everything else. It's kind of crazy. But they also expect us in Texas, it's weird. You have to have a, t uh, so like the failing grades for other states is like a 60 out of 100 when it comes to like grading points. For Texans, it's 70. That's like the, the statewide failing rate. Marcus. Marcus. So it's weird because like they don't teach us shit, but they also expect us to be better at other things, you know, which is just weird. I wish they didn't teach me. Uh, they made you memorize most of the world map. I mean, I feel like that's like a normal geography thing. It's nice to know what exists. Like, I don't know where the fuck Tuvalu is. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Is that what you want? We want a freedom. I gave you my answer. Wanna play 
like that. Okay. There's no compromise with freedom, my friend. They made you do that in grade seven. That's a bit early for me. You know what's crazy? That was so like we have rudimentary geography classes and stuff, but like when it comes to a world map, you'll take world geography in grade seven, but you won't learn down to the details of memorizing stuff until like like it was like high school i think like 10th grade when i finally had to learn like countries on a map but they didn't really give a shit <laughs> like they're like oh yeah you could learn this but we're not going to make you memorize it though we didn't have to memorize it memorization was something we didn't do a lot of in my school the only thing you'd really memorize for is like a spelling bee, maybe. Oh, right, I abandoned Alice. Don't look at me with that face like I did something wrong. Ew, why do they make child robots? That's creepy. I, I honestly, okay, okay, okay. Uh, somebody had said this earlier in chat and like, yeah, it is creepy. I don't get it. Someone's like, what is like that I even for? And I'm like, I guess for people that can't adopt or have kids, maybe? But yeah, like, I don't know. I was going to say maybe for someone who like, like, you know, they'll make the uh, really lifelike dolls for people who like lost a child or something. But that's still creepy. Save me, Clara. Like, you know, freaks buy that thing. Well. Hypothetically speaking, if I was ever going to get all the uh, endings in this game, I was going to have to get this ending anyways. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that... Memorizing is 90% of Lebanese schools. That's crazy. They... Apparently decided to it's, the it's interesting because for us, you know, at least for my education, it wasn't very much that. They would just, like, test you on something, and then that'd be, like, it after vaguely teaching it to you. And it's like, if you studied on your own time, that was you. They wouldn't really, like, make you do anything. Oh, shit, I missed a quick time event. I'll never forget that John saved my life. And then I immediately abandoned uh, Alice. Uh, it makes me kind of glad. I guess Bob is asleep. Yeah, I, she, I hope she doesn't ask me what happened because she's going to be real mad. Shit. I am messing this up so badly. I, I always forget that the PS5 controllers are motion control too. So whenever they do the little controller like icon that's like swishing, I just have to move the controller, which is weird to just be holding a controller and then suddenly shove it to the side. This went very differently than the other playthrough I did. Sing! Don't use auto-tune, though. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Back You're to trying to beat Terraria 100%? Ooh, are there achievements in that game, or is it just like just doing 100% of everything? Terraria is pog. I wouldn't be surprised if we did a Calamity mod run through at some point on Mondays. I can't believe they're actually putting their guns down to this. It's achievements. Oh, okay. Some of them take months. Like what? Like, what do you have to do that takes months? Just a 
just a little while longer. Pray on, just a little while longer. Incredible. Two hundred angler quests. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, but yeah, it's only once a day. Yeah. So two hundred in-game days. Yikes! I didn't know there was two hundred of those. It's a miracle that nobody from Jericho that we know has been shot during all these random times where they've just been taking out random nameless androids. There's genuinely no reason other than luck that we have gotten here with the uh, the people we have. And then of course, deliberate choice when it comes to North. Tell them to stand down. Let's go! We convinced Hillary Clinton! <laughs> yes, the military is withdrawing. Why is it Hillary Clinton? Well, you can tell by the haircut it's supposed to be Hillary I don't know Clinton. Why is it Hillary I don't know why it's Hillary Clinton. Are being seen all over the planet. Surely deviants are just defective machines. Or are they a new form of life, one that we refuse to acknowledge? When we watch footage of androids facing down the barrel of a gun, we can only speculate as to whether they simply simulated fear and courage or whether they didn't really feel these emotions. President oh, yikes. I don't even know if I've beat the Empress of Light. The peaceful demonstration of the deviants and the That's not new, is it? Because the last thing I did was Calamity mod, but I definitely beat, like, the base game before doing Calamity. I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered... I probably beat it at nighttime. That sounds more likely. Establish contact with the deviants and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. God damn it, Connor. Stop it. Stop trying to kill Marcus. Freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging. At nighttime, it's a normal boss. Definitely beat it at nighttime then. No doubt in my mind if that if that's the point or the case. I've never had this scene sequence, so I have no idea what to expect here. Cause all we did in the original one was we had to fight her trying to uh get us to shoot Marcus on stage, and that was like the end of the game. For that ending. We've done a lot more with this one. I see. Moral objections. We knew there was a risk you'd be compromised. Which is why we'd always planned on resuming control of your program. No, no barking. Resume control? You can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. You needn't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. There's got to be a way. The emergency exit, right. The real question is, where was the- I forgot where the emergency exit was. I swore 
that there was like a way out. I don't remember the way. Maybe this way. It's sown by killing a butterfly that spawns in the hollow. That sounds familiar. Also, literal butterfly effect. The right to live in freedom. And today... Well, this isn't good. I think we're about to get Marcus murdered. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance. You got a 0.022% drop? Fuck yeah, what'd you get? God fucking damn it. Haven't even been here yet. Oh, because this is car is ending. A biome key. What does it do? I don't think I've seen one of those. Does it just, like, let you choose a biome to, like, make something? Please. I wonder if we're gonna find Alice's corpse here. They open chests in the dungeon corresponding to that biome. Oh, okay. Also, wait, that's it? You're kidding. Man, like, I knew we were getting close to the end, but I thought we'd have, like, a section where we looked for Alice or, like, a section where, uh... Like, I thought we'd have a section where we looked for Alice or, like, a section where we got to see what happened after we got shot by Connor. But I guess not.